look forward to. Everybody is just staring at their San Diego sports Christmas tree or menorah or I don't know what you call it for Ramadan <laughs> or Kwanzaa, but it's something. The things. The things, all the things. We're waiting to uh, just, un or I should say, unbox. We're looking to unwrap all these presents we have for us. We have opening day. I hope they're good. Yeah, they better be good. <laughs> Otherwise, mom and dad, you're going to get a strongly written letter from your children. Uh, also, we have the Aztecs in the Sweet 16. Not today. None of that's happening mm. today. Mm. All of it's happening tomorrow. We're just waiting. We're just, you know, with visions of sugar plums dancing in our heads. <laughs> well, that's the thing, right? Today, it is all positive. Like, right now, I have a lottery ticket in my hand. So, right now, I'm a billionaire. <laughs> well, technically, it's like Schrodinger's cat. The cat is both dead and alive inside the box. You don't know until we open it yeah, up. I'll I, look right now. I'm probably not a billionaire. But say, as of right now, the Aztecs could be heading to the Elite Eight. The I Padres know. could be kicking off a start to an excellent 2024 season. We don't know, which is why today is so beautiful. But hmm. we... Well, what we do know is you didn't buy that thing this morning because it is against the law to get a lottery ticket before 6 a.m. They won't do it. What? Don't they know won't. why that is. You can't buy alcohol or lotto before 6 a.m. We've tested that many times <laughs> here on the show. That is true. Son of a... What? No. Not a winner. No, Not no. even two bucks? Okay. Right. When you buy a lottery ticket, how much do you spend? Two bucks. Just okay. by one. Yeah. Do you do a quick pick or do you have a certain set of numbers you go with? <laughs> just uh, tell the cashier, hey, one lotto ticket, please. Do you ever just go like one, two, three, four, five, six? What are the odds, by the way? What are the odds to win Powerball? Aren't they, aren't they like example? one in 300 million? Yeah. You know, I was going to say it's got to be in the hundreds of millions. But then you think about to have a perfect bracket. For those of you who are still looking at something resembling a perfect bracket, congratulations. That's head scratching. It is something to the tune of nine quintillion to one <laughs> that you will have a perfect bracket wow. from the round, uh, from the opening round of the, the 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 bracket or the tournament until the championship game. And there's none, by the way. There are no perfect brackets across America. Are there done? That's all, done. all done. There's zero perfect wow. brackets across America. That's so My amazing. sister actually is in the 99.9 percentile Still? of all brackets. Yeah. Wow. She's like gotten damn near everything right. Her and uh, Noreen Ippolito. Yeah. Nah, Noreen got busted. Yeah, she did. Yeah. You know, everybody, GCU. Every, yeah, that Grand Canyon <laughs> University <laughs> gets you every time. Golly. One in 292.2 million. That's your odds of winning Powerball. Uh, your odds of getting struck by lightning? One and 1 1.2 million. Wow. Much better odds. Yeah. Much better odds to get struck by lightning. Never even been close to getting struck by lightning. Well... I mean, just keep buying a two dollar ticket. <laughs> like yeah. literally, if you picked one, two, three, four, five, six, you would have the same odds. That's insane, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> right. I mean, but that's the truth. <laughs> like you could just play that every day for the rest of your life, or I guess not every day. Well, yeah, technically yeah, you can buy a ticket yeah, every day if right. you want. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, not, but, not before six a.m. <laughs> but just not before six a.m. wouldn't make any sense. Definitely wouldn't. Couldn't Ooh, do it here. God. No chance. Uh -uh. No how. Mm -mm. Um that's also. Insane. We have we've had owners meetings out in Orlando for the past couple of days where the NFL comes together, the heads of state, and they make decisions on the upcoming season. So there's a lot of news to pass along and a lot to chew on. Plus, yeah. we're going to have the voice of the Aztecs on later in the Woo! show. Teddy Leitner, Teddy Ballgame, Uncle Teddy, live from right. Boston. He's going to be joining the show. Also... Jersey Mike subs are going to make an appearance on the show. It's the day of giving at Jersey Mike's. Yeah, I like this one because you don't have to do anything except go get a sub. Yeah, that's it. And that's... you're given because Jersey Mike's is doing all the work. Yeah, they're giving some money to uh, Rady Children's Hospital, obviously. hundred percent. We uh, we love this because we work with uh, Rady Children's closely during the month of December every year with the give -a So any opportunities to help out the kiddos over there at Rady uh, it's a great opportunity for us. So spread the word, tell your friends, tell your family, uh, head to Jersey Mike's today. hundred percent of sales go to Rady children's hospital. Okay. And yeah, what, what, what it's Fletch fest. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, happy birthday to our co-host. Benjamin Fletcher. Yeah. So nice of Jersey Mike's to honor me this way. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And you decided I want to give everything back to Rady. Yeah. And we right. got our buddy Declan coming in, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Declan, he's going to be joining the show. 
Um, I love I love days like this where it's an intersection of many different things, and it feels like trying to be traffic cop here. It's not going to be easy, but we'll get through it as best we can. We'll need your help. So if you want to text the show, 70470, start your message with team. Also, if you want to speak to us directly, we have this awesome talkback feature on the app. So if you're not listening to us on the free iHeartRadio app, go ahead and download that now. You can click this little microphone button next to the play button. If you're listening to the station, it, you can record a 20 to 30 second voicemail where you just you just tell us what's going on. You know, what are you most excited for? Is it the Aztecs in the Sweet 16? Is it Padres opening day? Is it the fact that Shohei Otani's representatives <laughs> refuse to tell us whether or not they reported the $4 million plus dollar theft to the authorities or not? You let us know what your favorite storyline is today. You know, uh, it felt oddly quieted down yesterday afternoon with Shohei. So, I mean, did his press conference work? I, I, I kind of feel like it did. Just coming out and saying something. Listen to Saran Petro this morning on Two Pros and a Cup of Joe. No, I did not. He was beating the Dodgers drum a little bit. He was talking about how, like, what else? Like, Shohei went out there and he put everything to bed. He's like, he wouldn't have gone out there and said the things he said if he wasn't completely innocent. And I, I disagree. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Because no. Sorin's the whole thought process, he could have gone out there and just said, look, this is a legal matter. I can't say anything. But Shohei went out there and said, no, this dude's a lie. He said he painted himself into a corner to where if he was guilty of anything, people are going to look back on this press conference and really point the finger at Shohei and be like, oh, this is you're making it worse on yourself, dude. Well, yeah. OK, I don't know if I, I believe I don't know if I believe any of that to be true, to be honest with you. I, I mean, here's the deal. I was confused why he was releasing a statement in the first place, but okay, here's two ways to look at it. Maybe he is naive and that's the worst thing you could say about Shohei Otani and somehow a con man, this Ipe Mitsuhara uh, convinced him to spend $4 million plus dollars of his own money to help him out or cover up gambling debts, or maybe he lied to him and told him where the money was going was somewhere than it actually ended up. And they were such close friends that he was willing to help out a buddy. Maybe all that's true. Right. And, and Shohei was just naive or potentially Shohei likes to gamble. Didn't want people to know about it. Went through a go between and hmm. that's Ipe Mitsuhara. Hmm. And Ipe is willing to take a pretty serious fall for Shohei Otani, but let's just, speculate because I mean, I'm not, there's no reason to mistrust Shohei Otani. I don't think he's done anything wrong yet, but let's just speculate for a second that if it's, if it's true that he was the one who wanted to place the bets and he was using Mitsuharo as his go between and Mitsuharo now is facing potential jail time as a result. And maybe like a lot of jail time as a result of, a four and a half million dollar theft. That means that multiple people are going to have to commit perjury. So hmm. the what's what's suspicious to me is now the camp has gone silent on whether or not the matter has been reported to the authorities. And if so, what authorities? Because ESPN hasn't stopped asking that question and they've given them a week. And so they released an article this morning saying, hey, we've been asking Shohei's camp. Like, so where did you guys report this? Who did you guys report this to? Could we get an update? Is it FBI? Is it local police? Is it international police? Like, where, where is this going? Freaking and FDIC. Yeah. <laughs> FICO. F FICO. <laughs> Maybe the ADA, the American Dental Association. You know, what yeah. if five dentists <laughs> recommend? <laughs> yeah, no, this is where is it going? But somebody needs to be looking into this. It's a little shocking how little information has actually come out. And I think an important thing to keep in the back of your head about all of this is this is months after the world was praising Shohei Otani for how smart he was about the deferral stuff and how mm -hmm. money intelligent he was. And if all of that oh, we were supposed to wait. believe a couple months ago, and now we're this. supposed to believe that he just has no idea what's going on with his money. I, I don't buy it. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's what's the path of least resistance here when you're looking at probable probable 
scenarios. Uh, and the probable scenario in my mind is that Shohei Otani liked the gamble and went with through a go between. That's it. And then now he is having the interpreter fall on the sword. I'm sure the interpreter will get paid handsomely. I'm sure Major League Baseball went and said, hey, um, you need a scapegoat in this. Yeah. And it's going to be that guy right there. And we're going to do everything we can to keep him out of jail. But you're going to cut him a check and he's going to be set for life and his family will be set for life. And if his kids want to go to UC Riverside, they will go to UC Riverside. And by the way, what you just said could be true. And it sounds more probable, like you said, water, like many things, tries to find the path of least resistance. So what's the most likely scenario here? Yeah, that either his agent or his PR team or some league representative somewhere whispered into the ear of his agent, kind of like nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Hey, by the way, if there's a way that this could go away, it would be by promising some significant chunk of change with an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement between Shohei and his former interpreter and longtime friend, um, where he's going to get paid off handsomely after serving jail time. But he's got to take the fall, and it's got to unfortunately be a hard fall for Shohei. Mm -hmm. Is that cool? Is that something that can be accomplished? You didn't hear from me. Got to run. Bye-bye. And then they snap a phone in half like Breaking Bad, throw it in a trash can in front of a 7-Eleven yeah. in a nondescript location, <laughs> right. and they move on with their day. Yeah, no, it, I agree. It, Don't it, you drag 7-Eleven into this. They yeah. are perfect. <laughs> well, I'm just saying the trash cans aren't going to be searched except by the, the local unhoused. Uh, so <laughs> that, that's it. That's all. Like, I, I mean, my, my point in all of this is to say, like, this in some ways... And I don't want, I, like, look, San Diego, obviously, if there's one thing San Diego does as a sports town, it's loves their team, but also hates LA teams. And so there is a little bit, and I've seen it on social media. For sure. Of San Diego Padres fans, like, <laughs> yo, like it's a little bit of a Simpsons episode <laughs> where you've got the kid on the bus right before like the, the bus drive by. Oh, <laughs> and then the flip side of it, if you look at some of the posts from yesterday from different reporters reporting out what Shohei was saying uh, in that press conference, there were Dodger fans in the comments saying, OK, cool, we're all good. Let's go play some baseball. Right. <laughs> well. Yeah, nothing, nothing yeah. wrong here. Listen, nothing to see here. Keep it moving. They, they wouldn't be saying that if he was a Padre. Correct. They would it, it would just be flip flopped. Oh, oh yeah, right. With, but there was a large part of me that when the information came out, I went, thank God they didn't get him. I mean, thank God the Padres didn't get him. It just We don't need another story. Well, think about the people that just cut those checks for Shohei Otani. The Dodgers ownership, the Dodgers brass, who are putting away some part of $70 million into an escrow account this year. Yeah. are there, What are they thinking? Because there's so much uncertainty with how the next 10 years of his contract are going to play out. They're like, what did we sink our money into? Well, and, and and what's the look for the team? I mean, the Dodgers don't want that that smoke either. So they're going to do whatever they can to tamp it out. Yeah, yeah. And and to be perfectly honest with you, I get it. In all ways, shapes, and forms, I understand, like, from Shohei's standpoint, if, if I were him and it felt like there was a path to get through this being blameless, even though I was harboring blame here, and if everybody plays nice in the sandbox, like if a, if if a Mitsuharo says all the right things to all the right people and he serves his time and I can pay him off later and we can have, you know, some semblance of the same relationship we had on the other time of his bid in jail, potentially, or prison, potentially, depending on where this story goes from here. Maybe I'm willing to to do that because the other side of that coin is awful is potentially this pristine sterling image that he has had since he's entered the league being completely tarnished. And potentially, if there is findings that there were bets placed on baseball, okay, and he was at any point using Ippi Mitsuhara as a go-between to play place bets for him, and that became publicly known. Well, then we cannot trust that any bet made by Ipe Hara or Ipe Mitsuhara wasn't Shohei and potentially betting on the sport he plays. I didn't, I didn't know who it was going to be. I was writing <laughs> yeah, seriously. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it's a panic every yeah. time. <laughs> Let me take it from here, boys. Here we go. And by the way, even Fletch doesn't know. He's shocked also. It's, it's, it's the wheel of football in there. Yeah. 
tick, tick. Richard, you go. You only talk. three pegs, though, so that's... So, uh, just to carry on the conversation on Shohei Otani, L.A. Dodgers manager Dave Roberts was asked if he was concerned about Otani, who no longer has a person like Mitsuharu in his life, who wasn't only his interpreter, he was also the middleman for coaches and teammates, a facilitator for everything that... Uh, Shohei needed within a ballpark and outside of one for that matter. He said, actually, I would argue it's going to help our relationships internally <laughs> because there's no longer a buffer, Robert said. <laughs> In fact, I'm betting on it. But <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Scratch that. Scratch that. He said, I've already seen it. In the last couple of days, I think Shohei's been even more engaging with his teammates. I think there's only upside with that. <laughs> Talk about spin. Is wow. Sho Shohei more engaging or is Shohei's interpreter more engaging? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Will Ireton. We just met him yesterday, who's also the performance operations director for the Dodgers. So uh, let's just hope he's not a sports better. How about that? Huh? <laughs> and also uh, not a thief as uh, Mitsuhara is being accused of. Turns out it's not good. Also, we have um, action here tomorrow in uh, San Diego from the sports scene standpoint. We've got the Padres opening day Super exciting there. We've got the Aztecs on the road in Boston. They're going to be in the Sweet 16. So the Giants come to Peco Park. That's how the Padres will open their season here at home. Uh, the, the Aztecs have to go on the road to play UConn in TD Garden, which again... Travis Dale Garden. It's a good we place. We didn't actually know that that was... Yeah. Well, how did that happen? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think that they heard the show. Is that... And they're like, we should put a banner up. And they, somebody was like, oh, it's Toronto something bank. And I'm like, no. Wait, why That's did, dumb. Why do you think that, like, they didn't include us, like Big Rich and Fletch? It's and just, just like the American Comedy Club. It's like Travis Dale's group. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah. You want to use the special entrance? He's so hot well, right now. Somehow, <laughs> dude. <laughs> That Travis Dale is so when, hot. When right I now. get requests, I don't uh, I don't respond with your names. It's either yeah. that or Jesus. it's like they saw the Guinness Book of World Records for the biggest neck, and they're like, yeah. "This guy, we gotta get him involved, dude." Yeah, <laughs> we should somehow Photoshop the TD uh, Gardens building and just, like, put, and just put my head on top of it. No, just put Travis Dale underneath the TD <laughs> or Ravis Ale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that works. Exactly. Ravis Ale, delicious, by the way. Yeah, which, again, yeah. also, if you're going to have a beer named after you, why didn't no, we're not being what? included on any of the branding? Can't it's help so it. strange. Can't yeah, help so it. I, I'm going to ask you guys this question, and I think I know the answer, and I would love for everyone to weigh in on the text line 70470. Start your message with team. Again, that talk back feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Click the microphone button. If you're listening to the show right now, you can leave us a message there. What are you more nervous about? Like the Padres season in general, right? 160 from here on out. They just split against the Dodgers. So they have they have a one and one record, but the Padres season, because think about the amount of changes that will be made if they don't have a good one. Like all of a sudden mm. it feels like Preller mm. is on his last legs with this organization. There could be huge sweeping changes with a regime change. Peter, Peter Seidler, unfortunately, is gone. So there's not that it felt like there was like this guiding hand behind progress here in San Diego. And that's completely changed now. So are we more nervous about the start of the Padres season or the fact that the Aztecs are in the sweet 16? I know my answer, but I'm very curious what yours are. Well, it's gotta be Aztecs. It's gotta be Aztecs. You have the, at least a sense of urgency right now. I mean, it's uh it's do or die. So the Padres got 162 of these things coming up so why i've i've tampered or tempered my expectations at least at the moment i'm sure that'll change as opening pitch happens but at the moment i'm all i'm all aztecs man i'm super excited for both of these things i cannot help but be more nervous about the aztecs and it, it's because of who they're playing against like yukon is this giant the juggernaut the buzzsaw of this tournament and they might be even better than they were last year. Like, let's just be very clear about that. The team that won the national championship have reloaded, and they might be better this year than they were a year yeah. ago. Now, I heard Dutch talking outside the buses yesterday as they were loading up and getting ready to make their trip out to Boston to the TD Garden, and Dutch just sounded so great. calm and composed and great. But, Rich, I'm curious. Like, <laughs> you've gone into games as an underdog before. You were an Arizona Cardinal, for God's sake. When you think about, like, going into a massive game like this, the Aztecs in certain books are 11.5-point dogs. In certain books, they're 10.5-point dogs. They're double digits pretty much across the board. As a player, knowing what's on the line, 
What is going through your head when you understand the situation you're going up against? Kind of a backhanded compliment. No, I mean, yeah. I, yeah, I felt it. You yeah. were also with the freaking Patriots, so you were on the flip side of the oh, coin yeah. a lot. No, I just figured for now. this yeah, example. Yeah, yeah, it's weird you didn't lead with that. What are you, shy? <laughs> I feel like you threw me under the bus, and then you dragged me out like, you okay? <laughs> here's, for our, for here, our non-disclosure yeah. agreement, here's money. I won Powerball. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, a guy in New Jersey won the whole damn thing. Oh, no no $1.13 $1. billion, fifth largest in lottery <laughs> history. Oh. Oh, yeah, God. tell me he's like a distant relative of mine. Yeah. Um, let let's pray. see. Let's see if they release the name here and see if it's Italian at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see a name on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He was seen <laughs> eating figs outside the convenience store that he won. Dude, watch me, Daniel freaking Jones, uh, the guy who's already vastly overpaid. Daniel Jones, can you imagine? He plays Powerball every day. Just get me away <laughs> from the Giants. I think it was. Uh, it was Shohei. There was Shohei, yeah. or was it Ipe? <laughs> he's gonna, I don't know if he's putting it all on black. Ipe, Ipe he, uh, he, he buys Powerball for Shohei also. <laughs> all right, so let's I'll, go on through the player's head. I'll answer your question this way: you're you're kind of playing with house money in this situation. So the reason, so going back to my question, I'll answer yours because I I love the question. Like, what's it like being an underdog? I'm more nervous about the Padres' start of their season and how it's going to go this year than the Aztecs, and here's why. If everything ends right now, hang the banner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're a Sweet 16 team. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, they're one of only a few ever in the history of this basketball program. Hang the banner. They're also only one of a few programs in history to go to back-to-back -to -back Sweet 16s. Hang the banner. You know what I mean? The, I'm not saying the work is done. They can beat the Huskies, and that would be great. An Elite Eight bid for the second time in program history would be insane. But hang the banner. Like, I'm not saying the hay's in the barn, but... But he's gonna end the bar. You yeah. won the games you were supposed to win in March. Yeah. So if they lose to the Huskies, nobody's gonna turn around and be like, "Whew, the Aztecs really didn't represent us well." Like, no, they've done it already, and they're going against the best team left in the bracket. So I'm pumped where the Aztecs are and what's potentially in their future. But they're playing with house money, and that brings me to answering your question. Like, yeah, I'm 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 much more nervous about the Padres and how it's gonna go this season because. The Aztecs are playing with house money. It's like when you show up at a casino and they screw up your room and they're like, to make good on it, we're going to give you a $200 gambling credit. Go hit the floor, have some fun, play some blackjack while you wait for your room. And you're like, cool, it's not my money. I can go and be as reckless with this as I want. So the Aztecs get this great opportunity to play as loose as they want to. That's amazing. Like that's so true, few times true. in your life are you afforded the opportunity where you can actually go out there and just like let it all hang out. Well, I'll tell you right now in Boston tomorrow night, the Aztecs just let to let let it all hang out. Yeah. No, I mean I get it. I get what you're saying, and I I agree with it. I also have this weird feeling of like, man, if they win, I hope they don't hope they don't lay it all out in one night and they can't you know, they can't come back because it feels like UConn is the team you got to get past yeah and then all of a sudden it opens See, up if you can get if you get past UConn like the line to a national championship is there yeah like yeah. Purdue is gettable I know that they just dropped the hammer on Utah State and that was weird to see for Mountain West fans and like oh my god if they could do that to Utah State but I'm telling you, Purdue is gettable, and the Aztecs have the pieces to do it. If they can get past UConn, it's going to take a perfect performance. I mean, better than they just played against Yale in order to do so. But if they can get past UConn, there is a real chance something real special could happen here in San Diego. All right, coming up on this show today, we have major giveaways. Look, it's Aztec Sweet 16 Eve. It's Padres opening day Eve. We're feeling grateful for having all that excitement. We're adding to the excitement by giving away a $50 gift card to Islands. So if you want burgers and fine drinks, we're going to set you up there. Also, those Social D tickets are playing with Bad Religion. We're going to have those tickets for you as well. So keep listening to the show for ways to win those. Um, on the other side, we got to get into this. He's the biggest name entering the NFL. But I think we're all confused as to where he's going. I think TD has uncovered something amazing for us all. So we'll get to that very shortly. <laughs> this will be my last day as I'm canceled. <laughs> all right, we'll get, we'll get to that. But first, I want to talk to everybody about us. I, you don't hear enough about us. Mm -mm. And, no. Yeah. Like, never at all. We, we don't talk about us enough. And so I'm going to take a second, a little bit of a victory, victory lap for us. Because we have all done such amazing, amazing, amazing things over the past what year and a half working together, including, um, but not limited to losing a whole lot of weight. Yeah, 
like a full grown adult woman's worth of weight. We've lost 120 plus pounds True. as a show. It's insane. Like man. you could find many a 30 year old woman who weighs 120 or less. We've lost a Kendall. We lost a Kendall. Wow. We lost a Kendall Fletcher. That's wow. insane. So Fletch, he lost something nearing 50 pounds now. I lost over 35 pounds. TD lost 30. How did we do it? SDFatLoss.com. Uh, it's a very easy program to follow. Uh, it's a lifestyle change. So be ready to not only lose the weight, but keep it off the natural way, right? The healthy way. This is how it's done. You get in touch with them at SDFatLoss.com. You, you speak with or meet with Wayne and Chloe. They're going to be your weight loss team. They answer all of your questions. They're available all the time. Wow. They answer every question. What do you got? Uh, well, we lost a Kindle, but we also lost 548 Ken dolls. Wow. Okay, yeah. So you just did some quick math. Did, yeah, there. yeah. A, so Kindle, nearly, a Kindle weighs three and a half ounces. Nearly 550 Ken dolls. <laughs> And that might require a quick laugh by TD. He's going to lose a couple more yeah. Ken dolls right now. So there he goes. He's running out the door. I'll be finished with this ad read before he comes back because SDFatLoss.com, uh, it is the fastest way to lose the weight. So we want you to go there right now. SDFatLoss.com, no more yo-yo dieting, no more fad diets for you. Uh, just real results from real people who really helped us lose our weight. SDFatLoss.com. Well, we're not sure where Caleb Williams is going to end up because if he goes to the Bears, those colors might clash with his nails. We'll explain next.
This update is presented by Summit Racing Equipment. Starting off right here in San Diego, it's Christmas Eve for sports fans. Tomorrow, a massive day here in San Diego sports. It gets started at 110 as the Padres play their home opener against the San Francisco Giants. Join us pregame at the Blind Burrow downtown and then at 439. Aztecs playing in the Sweet 16 in a rematch of last year's national championship game. It's San Diego State and UConn with a chance to head to the Elite Eight on the line. Listen right here on San Diego Sports 760. And to talk about all those things, Ted Leitner coming up at 810 this morning. S Kevin Acey coming up at 830. In the NFL, league approving massive changes to the kickoff. The new rules are going to encourage more returns and more action on kickoffs. And in the NBA, Lakers took two overtimes, but they beat the Bucks last night, 128-124. Summit Racings has the part you need to keep your truck rolling right from custom grills to tan out covers and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off. In order of $100 or more, exclusions apply. Offer it's 4 14 what, What's the word? Tana. Tana? Tana. Tana. <laughs> Summit racing equipment, go there. <laughs> Hanging tough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's Fletch Fest over here. <laughs> Big Rashidi and Fletch, San Diego Sports 760. Why is it Fletch Fest? Because our very own Ben Fletcher. Birthday. Happy birthday. You guys should give me a Tanau cover for my truck. Yeah. <laughs> That, like to now or to now or later. Uh, you ruined the surprise. <laughs> yeah. uh, so cancel it. Wait, you want a, like a soft to now or a hard shell to now? How do you say the word? Tana. <laughs> Tana. A Tana cover. I'm making it so much You've harder on myself. You've never heard of Tana covers before? Yeah. No. Yes. Are we. Ha <laughs> yes, we have. Of course, we have. Social D tickets. Mm -hmm. Going to be giving those away a little bit later. They're going to be at North Island Credit Union Amphitheater, April 12th. Ticketmaster.com. You'd like to buy them or you'd like to scour the web for information ticketmaster.com yeah. there you go yeah. uh also a 50 dollar gift card to islands coming up so a lot of fun things oh, gosh god we got uh jersey mics coming in i think in honor of fletch's birthday oh no wait today's the day of giving so every time you buy anything today at jersey mics they give 100 percent of the proceeds to rady children's hospital so caleb williams who is presumed to be the first overall draft pick to the Chicago Bears. He is going to obviously be scrutinized from here until the draft. He's already been scrutinized a bunch. He was scrutinized last year uh, during uh, during their, their run and uh, unfortunate ending. Remember, they lost the, I believe it was the Pac-12 championship game to Utah, and they got bounced. That's how they got bounced from playoff contention. And all along the way, Caleb Williams was the forefront, right, of college football overall. He won the Heisman in 2022. Last year, a little bit of a uh, suppression. Uh, the Pac-12 got better. Uh, USC got worse. Uh, their offensive line struggled. They had less weapons for Caleb to throw to. So it wasn't the same season it was in 2022 for Caleb Williams, but still obviously touted as a, a top star coming out of college football. But But with that scrutiny comes, like, it's not just on the field stuff or character stuff. People are also scrutinizing like everything. Like he has a pink cell phone case who somebody commented on, on Twitter mm -hmm. and back at them. Uh, he, he painted his nails at the, uh, the actually multiple times over the course of his college yeah. playing career, yeah. but against Utah state, he had like the message against Utah. Right. 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 Um, what else has he done? Oh, he sobbed in the arms of his parents after a loss this past season. Yep. Like a lot of people are taking all these little idiosyncrasies as they're referring to them and putting them in the whole bucket of criticism against Caleb Williams. Do you guys do you guys look at any of that stuff as like red flags or or like things that teams should actually be concerned about? Uh, because I don't know how I can correlate like painting your fingernails to being a better or worse football no. player. No, I mean, red flags as far as being a better or worse football player, no. I mean, the guy's obviously amazing. So yeah. uh, who who cares, I guess, in that sense? Uh, it would just be the optics of a team, I guess. Uh, you know, what is the fan base going to say if you bring him onto the team? Are, are people going to revolt or are they happy just to have this guy with this immense talent join your team? It's just unusual to see in a football player who is, I mean, f football players are the manliest of men, right? So you have a guy who is fine wearing lipstick and painting his nails and having a pink phone and everything's cool. By the way, it's not a, it's not an iPhone pro. 
Let me see that. Like, he's just got like yeah, a regular, got his contract, regular yeah. iPhone. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you would think, uh, I mean, at least now, pay, uh, I it's will like say, six bucks more a month. Yeah. Like having <laughs> gotten to know <laughs> one former NFL player right here, yeah. Rich Ornberger, mm-hmm. and uh, my relationships with Nick Hardwick and different people at Radio Row. Football players are just a different breed in general. Like, yeah. y- y'all are weird and you literally hurt yourself on purpose year after year after year and do significant damage to your bodies just to play a game and to make a lot of money. I don't think I've ever met a very normal down to earth. Rich, you might be the closest I've ever gotten. And that's saying a lot. Uh, just a <laughs> normal football player. Like, and by the way, quarterbacks, you've dealt with some huge personalities in the quarterback room. Philip Rivers, as great a guy as you can meet weirdo well yeah well i mean he was off his rocker like us all and you kind of have to be a little nuts to play a game that dangerous or like fight for a living ufc or boxing because there's a hundred percent guarantee you will be injured doing it like there's no doubt there's no question you're going to be injured and probably seriously somewhere along the way to do it so there's got to be a screw loose somewhere um and also the the level of enjoyment you get from it here's what i'll say about caleb williams He's a superstar. Superstars are different from great players. Like Kawhi Leonard is a great player in the NBA. LeBron James is a superstar. They're both great. They're both won championships and have been finals MVPs. And, you know, there's some overlap there. But where the similarities end is the fact that LeBron has parlayed his greatness in a game into international stardom, whereas Kawhi Leonard when he retires, he's going to fade into, you know, infinity. Like what we probably, if he doesn't want us to, we'll probably never hear about him again. He's a great, not a star. And so when I make that, that distinction, I look at Caleb Williams and this guy's undeniable. He is a star. Now we'll continue into the NFL. We'll see. And if he's good, that stardom will continue to rise. Everybody thinks things are weird until somebody is great and they make the weird things cool. Like, I, I mean, hair metal, right? It, yeah. I mean, look at the bands of the 80s who became famous mm. for wearing makeup, teasing their hair out into these big, bushy manes. Guns and, N' Roses, exactly. Poison, Motley Crue. They wore, they wore women's clothing. And, and guess what? All of a sudden, you started seeing that in society. Everybody wanted to look like Axl Rose. And so I, I think Caleb Williams just goes by, by the beat of his own drum and if he's great at the NFL level, maybe you're going to start seeing NFL fans show up with painted nails. I'm not right. kidding. Like, you probably star. will. Now, this isn't new with Caleb Williams, by the way. He's always been a little more extravagant or on the extravagant side. And uh, Kay Adams, who does her podcast, Up and Adams, which is a very Travis Dale name, uh, was interviewing <laughs> cornerback like for the Bears, Jalen Johnson, last week, who's one of the locker room guys on that team, who's kind of one of the Rich Ornberger guys. You know, it's the you bring everybody together guy. And Kay Adams asked him about it, asked him about Caleb Williams' personality and how that would blend into the NFL locker room. And this is what Jalen Johnson said. You, you bring up rock stars. When I look at Caleb Williams sitting there, if you said, oh, that's Lenny Kravitz's son, you'd be like, he's cool, man. Yeah. Or if it's I mean, Lenny the, Kravitz himself. Le- yeah. You know I mean, because I mean? it's, it's flamboyant. It's off the wall. He's making headlines. Uh, I mean, and, and whether or not this is something you, I guess, care about or not care about, the dude can ball. And whether it's Johnson or it's Allen or it's uh, Edwards or anybody on that Bears roster who's going to be welcoming him to the NFL, and sometimes those welcomes are rude awakenings, and sometimes what they are is a player is undeniable. Like Joe Burrow had an ego and a level of confidence leaving LSU as one of the greatest football players we ever seen play the sport at the collegiate level, go to the Cincinnati Bengals and take over that roster immediately. Like he became the star he was destined to become. And Joe Cool emerged. Like he wears the sunglasses and he says the cool stuff and he's got the haircut and everybody wants to be like Joe out in Cincy. I'm telling you, 
if Caleb has success at the NFL level, all that he just said there is true. Nothing you did in college matters. But if he does it at the NFL level, all of a sudden you're like the Pied Piper. Everybody wants to follow behind you. And Jalen Johnson might end up painting his nails for a game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, like dead serious. Like, not 100%. Joking. Like 100%. You, uh, you were obviously in locker rooms, Rich. Do you think anybody would reject the fact that uh, Caleb Williams was flamboyant like this? Would they reject the fact? Would, that, would, like, would people be angry? Uh, only if he sucks. Okay. Yeah. Only if he's like, like, you know, nobody wants to see a guy brag or, you know, uh, floss, you know, if, if he stinks at the sort of like keeping the main thing, the main thing is always the most important. If he's a great football player, though, you deal with the rest. I've dealt with complete a-holes on teams. And I'm just like, because you know what? When they go out there on Sunday, they're a killer. And I love yeah, that. Yeah. I love that about him. They could be as bad of a dude every other day of the week. As long as you show up on Sundays and we win ball games and we win championships. I don't care. I don't care. Because this is what we're here to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, Caleb Williams, it's going to be rough if he's not good. It's going to be great if he is. We'll see. All right. Coming up next, it's tax season. The NFL is going to help you see more returns. <laughs> we'll explain how. In just a God, few that minutes. was so good. Yeah, it felt good. It was so good. Yeah, you'll understand yeah. in a second. <laughs> <laughs> what but, are we talking about right now? Uh, I want to talk to everybody about a world-class dentist. Okay where all procedures are done in the same office with state-of-the-art technology. My doctor, Dr. Jordan Colby, my dentist over at Ocean View Dental, he can give you teeth in a day plus a winning smile. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, over at OceanViewDental.net, you can check out before and afters. He's this incredible practitioner. Um, I had the situation where I needed a tooth extraction and three implants put in. I was told by my former dentist this was going to take a year and a half. Dr. Jordan Colby sat down, he explained my procedure, he showed me my digital pictures of what my procedure entailed, and I felt 100% confident and comfortable with him because he said, we'll do this in three months and we'll do it all out of the same office. I was skeptical at first, in fact, but everything he said came true. His motto is, no matter your situation, he can help you create a confident and winning and healthy smile. And his advanced specialty is implants. And after doing my homework, that's who I wanted my implants done with. And he did a phenomenal job. I've had no issue since. But if you're just getting your next teeth cleaning or if you need a new family dentist and the rest of your family, you know, needs their updated checkups, or if you have a cavity that needs to be taken care of or a root canal, you need to go to OceanViewDental.net. Again, that website is OceanViewDental.net.
Hey, what's going on, guys? It's TD. And last week, I had headed over to North County Cadillac GMC to go check out some of their new inventory. My friend Jamie, the GM, he's like, hey, you got to come check out these new trucks. I was checking them out. You can go to my social. Go to at Real Travis Dale and see these videos I put up of these new trucks. They're going to blow your mind. But I put them up. Big Boss Noreen, we're hanging out with her on Friday, Saturday. And she goes, hey, um, that GMC truck you took a video of, I mean, that's that's the real deal. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, yeah, all day long. She's like, they could pull a boat okay? I'm like, pull a boat okay? Go go down there. Go down there. See Jamie. Tell him that, uh, that TD sent you and go drive this thing around. Go sit in that truck. You don't even need to drive it. Just go sit in it and look at how amazing these Sierras are. I mean, unbelievable. But right now, they're offering exceptional savings on new Cadillac and GMC models like the GMC Sierra 1500 and the Cadillac Lyric. And they can also help you get a great deal on some pre-owned vehicles if that's what you're looking for. But don't just take it from me. Listen to this review right here. I can honestly say North County Cadillac GMC was one of the best dealer experiences I've had. Everyone I dealt with was amazing from Jay, the sales manager, to my salesman, Paul, to finance person, David. Everyone made sure I was happy and ready to move forward, and I understood the next steps. That's because they want to make it easy. Jamie over there wants to make this smooth and painless and the best experience you've ever had buying a car. And look, there's a reason why North County Cadillac GMC was voted San Diego's best domestic auto dealer in the San Diego Union Tribune Reader's Poll. Experience the difference for yourself. Stop by North County Cadillac GMC in the heart of the Escondido Auto Mall today. North County Cadillac GMC, exceeding your expectations every time. Big Rich TD and Fletch with you on a Wednesday where we celebrate a great man. No, not any man, the best man. It's Fletch Fest 24. Good Lord. 27 years ago on this very day. Or eight. 28 years ago on this very day, a great thing happened to this country, to this planet. <laughs> to Mama Fletch. A young squire, birth of Angela Fletcher, conceived by Keither Fletcher, poured from where he once was... Oh boy. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want to get like, into specifics, wait. but he tumbled into life and he became... The sire of great things to come. <laughs> we didn't prepare a speech. Oh. We're we're speaking off the top of our heads here. Uh -huh. But he's drinking Niner Honk. What else do you got for? No, me? there's things. There's things. There was yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. And then he's yeah. here, and he has Fletch, a dog named Brock. You're our resident Niner fan. <laughs> <laughs> Fletch, you tripped on an acorn. <laughs> what <are> you... <laughs> okay, so Fletch, what? um, do you feel any different being 28? feel old man do you maybe it's because my like bones are really achy these days because like, you know the, well they're brittle the ones that are broken mm -hmm. especially yeah osteoporosis yeah 28 Can does happen. yeah feel like an old number and i know that's not going to do anything in this room because you guys are way older than that yeah i got 10 years on well, yeah yeah i mean i got uh 
I got 15, 16, 17. My God. You're 17 years older. But this is the third birthday in a row where (laughs) I feel like it's a number that people don't care about. Like, I feel like 25 was the last one till 30 that people care about. Who who, who cares about 25? The car rental companies? Uh, Well, I mean, like, Kendall made a big deal out of 25. 28, she's like, here, you want a new game for the Nintendo Switch? Oh, what'd you you ask for? Oh, we got Super Smash Bros. The new one. (laughs) Hell yeah. Pretty good. good. Yeah, I've been playing. Wait, you already opened it? No, she ordered it though, and I we share accounts, so I know it's coming. <laughs> and she asked me, she was like, "Would you rather have this or like the three pack of old Grand Theft Auto games?" I was so, like, "Super Smash." I wow. used to, wow. and and we'll get to the uh, the tax season returns conversation in in a, in a little bit here. We're running close on time here. We went a little long last segment, but I do want to finish this conversation because I think it's interesting. I think a lot of couples do this, like where you know what gifts you're giving. I hate it. Yeah, I I I mm-hmm. personally. I like a good surprise. And so I liked to keep the presents I was getting for Annie a surprise. <laughs> she didn't like any of my presents. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like I missed so hard on so many t- year after year didn't after you get Christmas. Her workout gear one time. Oh, you dude, idiot. Yeah. You don't even understand how bad that was. We'll get to that at a different time too. But I missed so many times, so many Christmases, so many birthdays that she finally was like, no. Never, never again. What we're doing is I'm going to tell you what I want. You're going to get it. And that's that. It was so bad. It got let's, so bad. Let's put this example out there. Last night we went out to dinner for my birthday. Yeah. We went to Kendall's favorite restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> that is marriage. Yeah. Yeah. For the rest of your life. Right. This is, and by the way, get used to this. You you think it's fun right now? You get to order what you want. Still, you're only in year two of marriage. When you get to year mm. ten, or I guess I'm in year nine, or you get to year twenty five, like Travis, you you just order her whatever she wants, and then whatever the the second most thing she wants on the menu, and then <laughs> sometimes even the thing that she wants third most on the menu, and then we do sharesies. <laughs> That was nice you, of you, you to think another that plate. I got to order what I want yesterday. It was oh. Din Tai Fung, dude. Kendall does all the ordering. Wow, there you have it's it. Din Tai Fung. Oh, it's a wait. Do you get that at Ocean View Dental? Don't. Yeah, <laughs> you can't. You can't. They have all the toys. Um, that's uh dumplings. We should go. Oh sometime. yeah, yeah, we should yeah. Go. That's, that's right. Good. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, they got those yeah. garlic yeah. string beans. Ooh, the garlic oh. string beans. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> wait. Anyways. Din Tai Fung, not yeah. on Prize Picks, but that mm. might be the only thing that's not on Prize Picks. And you could be on Prize Picks starting today mm. with promo code Fletch. You get a first deposit match up to one hundred bucks, and you can start playing. Look, we got some big, big time stuff coming up tomorrow here in San Diego. If you know what I'm talking about, the start of the baseball season, more college basketball coming your way. If you want to be more locked into ever with these sports games, if you want to get yourself into sports heaven, you need to download the Prize Picks app today. Use promo code Fletch. Start setting your lineup. It takes about 60 seconds. You can do it in less than a minute. By the time I'm done with this ad read, you could have a lineup set up with just four players that could win you up to a thousand bucks with ten dollar deposit. Hockey, college basketball, pro basketball, darts, cornhole, doesn't matter. E gaming, it's all on Prize Picks. Get over there right now. Prize Picks has something for every sports fan from basketball and hockey to League of Legends, everything in between. And by the way, you can put all those things on the same lineup. You could go LeBron, Caitlin Clark, Connor McDavid, Jude Bellingham, all in the same entry. Prize Picks is the best way to get actions on sports in more than 30 states across the country. So if you're listening on the free iHeartRadio app out in Texas, out in Georgia, you can download the Prize Picks app today. Use promo code Fletch. Get a first deposit match up to 100 bucks. It's the number one fantasy sports app with over 3 million active members. It's the most exciting and the easiest way to play daily fantasy sports. And unlike some of those other apps, it's just you against the numbers. You're not playing against any sharks or competitive leagues. All you're doing is picking more or less on two to six player stat projections, and you can watch the winnings roll in. Download the Prize Picks app today. Use promo code Fletch. Get a first deposit match up to 100 bucks.
This update is presented by the Jimba Trail Real Estate Team. Starting off right here in San Diego, it is Christmas Eve for sports fans. Tomorrow, a massive day in San Diego sports. It gets started at 110. Padres playing their home opener against the San Francisco Giants. You can join us pregame at the Blind Burrow downtown for the Darren Smith Show and John and Jim. And then at 439, Aztecs playing in the Sweet 16. It's a rematch of last year's national championship game, San Diego State and UConn with a chance to head to the Elite Eight on the line. Listen to San Diego Sports 760. Pregame will get going at 4 tip off at 439 with uncle teddy who's going to be joining the show coming up in about an hour would you like to know what your home would sell for today get a simple text message with your home's value by texting your address to 855-600-6000 you'll get no phone call just a text jim betrayal has the buyer simply text your address to 855-600-6000 Wednesday to those who celebrate Big Rich TD and Flash with you. We got our Showtime Flapper dancers just beside <laughs> us. We're going to be where's Laura? Going to be tippling back a couple of Rob Roy's. You dig? <laughs> um, yeah. So listen, Happy Hump Day to all. Uh, San Diego Sports Seven Sixty. San Diego Sports Seven Sixty with you. We are um, celebrating Christmas Eve in a lot of ways. It feels that way, at least. We're about to unwrap our presents tomorrow. We got Padres opening day. Giants are coming down to Petco Park to face the pods. First time we're going to get to see the Padres stateside. And then we have the Aztecs in Boston. Sweet 16 round of the NCAA tournament. We got them facing the, the champion from last year. The team that knocked the Aztecs out of the bracket in the final game. The UConn Huskies. So we want to hear from you. What are you most nervous about? The the Padres season, like in total, we have 160 games left. Or the Aztecs in the Sweet 16. What's giving you more agita? What's what's keeping you up at night? What is what is got you a little bit worried? Um, both TD and Fletch both said, hey, look, it's the Aztecs because it feels so urgent right now. I made the argument for the Padres because I was like, look, you know, the Aztecs, you could hang a banner. I mean, if they lose to UConn. I understand it's not going to feel good. I'm not going to have warm and fuzzies about any way they lose, but the Aztecs have done something that so few teams in all of college basketball history can say going to back-to-back sweet 16s. I, I mean, and in history of this athletic program, there there's been no team that's ever enjoyed this kind of back-to-back season success. So I'm thrilled with where the Aztecs are. I'm really nervous about where the Padres are going because, frankly, everything could change if they have another down year. It could be goodbye to A.J. Preller. It could be goodbye to one of these big contract guys in trade because that's what happens when regimes change, when all of a sudden ownership goes, no, we need to start over. We need to start from scratch. And maybe some of the familiar faces will be around the ballpark in a year or two. But maybe not. And that's worrisome. Yeah, but you feel like sweet 16, though, you're satisfied? Like, because right now, right now, right now, you are feeling satiated with a sweet 16 birth. Okay. And that's it. Because, because I mean, I'm just saying, right now, at this minute, I could say, yeah, I get it. However, as soon as tip off comes, come on. Come on. I'm with you. I I totally yeah, no. The, the answer is no. I'm not satiated. <laughs> I I want them to win uh, the whole damn thing. I mean, you're dancing. You're dancing. Yeah, like this right. is what you play the whole season for. Uh this is the reason why you worry about the health of your superstars. That Jaden Ledee playing as well as he did through the first two games of this tournament, the fact that the shots were falling last week against Yale, the fact that they have a little bit of positive momentum heading into this rematch against UConn, all those things are so important to me personally, but also to the San Diego sports scene. Yeah, no, I don't want the story to end here. But still, we're at a point in this season where the accomplishments already are so immense yeah. that this cannot be looked at as a major failure, even if they lose. Whereas if the Padres, say they go out and underperform what they did last season. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine the Padres have a worse season this year. Right, right. Which I'm not right, saying is likely, right. but it's it's possible this, yeah, this could be a disaster for the pod. No, I agree. And I do feel like there was a little bit of um of okay, the Aztecs need to get to the sweet 16 in order for vindication. Yeah, in order for it to be like, oh, last season was just a one-off. That doesn't happen out in San Diego. 
So now that they're in the Sweet 16, you go, okay, look, see, we told you so. We are for real out here. Let's be uh, put everything in perspective here, because what Rich is saying is that like 20 years down the road, we could look back at 2024 as the year that the Padres whole system fell apart, that the plan failed, Sweet. right? That AJ Preller's <laughs> general managership was a failure. And you can point to 2023 and 24 as the years as the reason why that's the case. When we look at the Aztecs, well, the last time they played UConn in the Sweet 16 was 2011. Kawhi Leonard, Kemba Walker, one of the most legendary college basketball games ever. That UConn team went on to win the national championship that year. A lot of people would tell you that San Diego State team could have done the same thing had they gotten past UConn. Oh, yeah. That is considered one of the greatest Aztecs teams of all time. A team that made it to exactly where San Diego State is right now. Getting to the Sweet 16 is special, man. 20 years down the road from right now, we're going to look back at this year's team and talk about how special it was that they made it to the Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. And if they get past UConn, which, by the way, they can do, it'll get even greater and greater and greater. So but the disaster level definitely weighs more on the Padres. Yeah, well, <laughs> but I don't know that tomorrow matters for the disaster. This could also be, though, let's say it's a disaster of a season for the Padres. This could also be the year you look back and go, well, that's the year they finally cleaned house and, and made the switch. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's actually a good point, too, because, again, you know, a, a, I don't know, a forest burns down. All of a sudden, you see green sprouts a year later, and then a new forest grows. Like, so sometimes you need tragedy or devastation for new life to, to it, it's the cycle of things. Like we see it all the time in all sports, all leagues. Like there's a team that's completely decimated and then they rebuild and they do it the right way. And all of a sudden, boom, they're off to the races. Look, the giants, the opening uh, uh, home competitor against the Padres, they did this in the two thousands, you know, with, uh, with, with, with Bochi. I mean, that was a organization for years that wasn't going in the right direction. And then all of a sudden they had this incredible run where, what was it, in five years they won three World Series? It was insane. And that was the aftermath of having possibly the biggest star baseball's ever had in Barry Bonds. Yeah. But it was like everything was dedicated to him. Barry Bonds never won a World Series. No, mm -hmm. They get rid of Barry Bonds. They win three and five. It, I mean, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's really crazy how certain things – well, look, I mean, certain things can birth of like, so. Yeah, you're right. I, I guess to spin a, an insane negative positive, yeah, this could be a year where we kind of, you know, it's a mile marker for Padres fans where they go. Even if this is a poor outcome, they go, yeah, and that's when it all changed for the better because mm -hmm. they finally mm -hmm. moved on from person X or player Y or general manager, whatever. Right? I it, that's that's possible. However, when you're tearing that Band-Aid off for the first time. You know, yeah. like in the yeah, case, yeah, yeah. in the case, it's of, not fun. In the case of Fletch, you know, I mean, yeah. <laughs> when you're getting the leg surgery after the acorn slip, like yeah. that stinks. But then it, it, there's a little bit of a wait before it gets better. A little bit of a wait. Yeah. Like 10 weeks, it sounds like. Yeah. That's a long time. That's a long time. Wait, 10 weeks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to be rehabbing for a while. Wow. 10 weeks. And then I have, a, have to have like another surgery to take stuff out of me that they're putting into me. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of screws. Wait, hold on. Hold on. 10 weeks. So, uh, we got two, almost three months. Two and a half, three months. Yeah. Uh, with March. Man, you're going to be watching us play golf. We told Fletch. <laughs> we were like, he was. Just stares at me. I'll be the cart driver. He, yeah. was, he was going out for that hike, and I feel terrible, but like, he was like, all right, Fletch, break a leg. Yeah. I, would, I was just like, I meant like, good luck. And then, Not like, actually go break a leg. Yeah, and he did it, which, I mean, so. A plus for mm. commitment, yeah. but I think uh, maybe took it a little too so, I mean, 20 years from now, when we're all on the air still and still best friends, dear friends, and right here dear, in San Diego, dear, we've already had show, seven course. or eight parades thanks to Mayor Todd Gloria, if he's still around too. Who knows? I think you can be mayor for three decades, yeah. <laughs> but we're going to look <laughs> back <laughs> at 2024 and say what about this Aztecs team? We're going to say, well, yeah, it was freaking awesome, man. That's the thing. Yeah, that's We're going to say what about this podcast? Well, see, that's why I'm nervous. So check it out. Uh, 704 Four seven zero. Start your message with team. Uh, if you're listening to us on the free iHeartRadio app, I suggest you do because we have this awesome talk back feature. It has a little microphone button next to the play button. You can leave us a voicemail. We'll play it on air. Uh, so if you're interested to tell us what you're most nervous about, the Aztecs playing the Sweet 16 tomorrow or the start of this Padres season because a lot is riding on the line here. We have this text. I'm worried about this weekend being rained out. Yeah, <laughs> there is rain for Saturday and Sunday. So how much would that suck, right? You get like the Padres season finally back. Oh, the first weekend at Petco Park. You got everybody day drinking down to the gas lamp. Everyone's ready to go get in. Yeah. That was the sound of rain. Rain and thunder. Yeah, that was uh, that was royalty-free rain. 
Good God. Lord, have mercy. Things said in our ears. He's so man, vulgar. Oh, man. Uh, in the NFL, guys, things are going to look a lot different this season. Not only is the swivel hip drop tackle banned from the game, but now kickoff's going to look a little different, too. The NFL has adopted a low-impact kickoff modeled on what's previously been used in the XFL and that the league believes will increase the number of returns while decreasing the number of injuries. You guys in or you out on the new kickoff? So, I mean, the, the way it's going to work is the kicker still lines up the 35. The rest of the players line up on the opposite 40. No one can move until the ball either hits the ground or touches a player. I'll tell you what's going to be weird is that the defense is going to be lined up on the 40. Like you said, CD, the blocking side is going to be five yards in front yeah, of the 35. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's just going to be like a square off at midfield, which is supposed to like limit the head to head full speed oh, damage. It definitely will. Yeah. It, yeah. It definitely, well, you won't have people charging 40 yards downfield and then slamming their heads. So into where other are people. most possessions going to start? Like I haven't watched enough XFL to know, but like how much of an advantage is that for the kickoff or the return team? So I was looking at that yesterday, clip after clip after clip, and maybe these are just the ones that people are posting, but they've started around the 32, 35 yard line. That's a pretty big advantage to start off the, uh, the drive there. Yeah. This is what we were talking about when we said, Hey, it's, taxis and yeah. we're going to have more returns <laughs> yeah. brought to you by the NFL because truly that's the goal is to have more returns for touchdowns to have more deep returns and also I think they changed the rule where the touchback will be moved to the 35 yeah. so it, the job of the kicker the role of the kicker is going to be to try to pin the ball between the 5 and the, the goal line these there, poor defenses man it, there's there's actually an area of the field that I think it's called the green zone yeah. or the tar the target zone. Yeah, let me look it up yeah, they, because they, they have an article on ESPN describing and, all and that. I believe the ball has to fall between the goal line and the twenty yard line. That's the target zone. Yeah, and yeah. if it if it goes past that, it's a touchback. I exactly. understand what the league is doing, trying to make more offensive plays, more sports center fodder. But it's making it impossible to play defense. So during the 2024 season, kickers will continue to kick from the 35-yard line, but the other 10 players on the kickoff team will line up on the receiving team's 40-yard line. At least nine members of the return team will line up in the setup zone between the 35 and the 30-yard lines. Up to two returners can line up in the landing zone between the goal line and the 20-yard line. No other than the kicker and returners can move until the ball hits the ground or hits a player in the landing zone. Touchbacks will be marked at the 30-yard line. No fair catches will be allowed. In the event a team wants to attempt an onside kick, it will have to inform the officials, and the intent would then be allowed to use the NFL's traditional formation. No surprise, onside kicks will no longer be permitted. I don't like it. I don't like that rule. I don't. I don't. I don't like it at you all. You don't like all of it, no. but but I but I fear change. <laughs> so, so. What if it's not broken? Don't well, fix it. Well, like, yeah, the I NFL mean, is this perfect product. I just, I just, I just I, don't, don't, don't screw with me. Not Come on. in my backyard. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've now reached the old man phase. They're taking their yeah. jobs. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah. You know what? Maybe we should change that because the morning monologue, maybe it should be on our chest. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah I'm gonna run. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I Wait, should, what? Yeah, get the <laughs> hell out. That was <laughs> gross, Odell Becker Jr. Dirty. So dirty. That's so dirty. Wow. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are you going to take a lap now? I don't know Are how. you going to take a... I'll do my take... monologue first. Oh, wait, wait. Actually, no. I need Rich here for mine. Sorry. You go ahead. You want my monologue first? Okay. Or my... we can stall till he gets back. Well, I mean, whatever you want to do, because my monologue... <sighs> Listen, all right? You're, you're a married man, okay? I am. You've, you've lived with a woman for some time now? I have. Okay? How often have you been told, like, hey, put the seat back down, right? You get that. I'm actually pretty good about that one. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying it happens. If you left it up, would Kendall say something? Yes. She would get very angry. Right. Okay. Same at my house. I'm pretty good at putting it back down. But if I leave it up, you damn well know I'm going to be told, hey, make sure that seat goes down. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something that goes on in my house that I feel like if I got to put the seat down, somebody else should have to do this. When I go up to the, to the fridge and I want to get some ice in the glass. Go ahead. 
and I go ahead and, you know, it's got the, the, the little me- mechanism right there in the front of the door. I put the glass in. I don't hear anything. It's not working. Oh, it's filling up with water because somebody hit the water button and didn't go back to cubed ice. Now I have to pour out the water and I've got a semi-wet glass before I put in my ice that I have to switch back. If I got to put the seat down, you put it back to cubed ice. Yeah, Actually, it's not my wife. It's my daughter. You got to fight fire with fire. So this is so you live in a house with two women. I live in a house mm-hmm. with one. But I have equal amounts of complaints about toilet seats up, down, wet toilet seats, all of it. So I get it. Nobody wants to have a wet bottom standing up from whatever business you're tending yeah. to. I get it. So I'll, I'll go, even if it's not like my deal, like the boys, you know, they wreak havoc in a bathroom. They're, oh my they're God. five years old and eight years old. Uh, I mean, let's put it this it way. It never gets better, by dude, the way. I don't understand at what point I started actually making it in. I don't know. I don't remember dude, missing ever. The towels are wet. Yeah. The mirrors are getting hit. It's wild. <laughs> But I'll, so I'll wipe down a seat. Lightsabers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sword fights. Look, I'm wiping down seats all the time. But what I do is I go the extra mile. So if I if I'm like going to be responsible for lowering the lid every time, like that's going to be the big complaint. Well, guess what? You're going to have to do some work too. I don't just put the seat down. Oh. I put the cover down. Wow. Wow. That's a that's a bold move. So guess what, hun? If you need to go. You're going to have to do some work, too. If I'm doing work, you're doing work. And guess what? We're doing the same amount. So I'll put bu- – and by the way, I'm the one who buys the toilet seats, so I make sure I get the How ones – How toilet seats have you purchased? Oh, we've gone through so many. <laughs> Wear I'm those re- things out. Really aggressive. Like, I run in. I do, like, I try to slide into the bathroom. Like, whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, but so I put them both down, dude, and I have, like, the silent closed ones. Yeah. So it's never going to come down and be like, clang. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's oh, going yeah, to it's slowly, nice. like – Yeah. Like, almost like it has – Anyways, dude, it is the best revenge because in the middle of the night, all of a sudden, one time, actually, this has happened twice in her life, but she's going, oh, why do you always put the <laughs> lid down? Why do you do this to me? Because she just bare ass <laughs> the top of the... <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, yeah, it seems right. Two things, two things. One, you ever go into, like, the restrooms here? And then there's, there's pee all over the toilet. You're like, oh, God. Now I have to clean it up because if I walk out of here and somebody else walks in, they go, no, it was TD, peeing all over the place. Again. Yeah, again. Two, you ever sat on the toilet that's got, like, the loose seat? And yeah. it's like it's like rodeo. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Depending way on how things are going with one leg, <laughs> oh, by the way. Oh, wow. On that seat. I know which one you're talking what? about. <laughs> it's loosey-goosey. Uh, for my morning monologue, I thought I'd do my 2024 birthday wish because today is my birthday, 28 years old. Wow. But, wow, guys, yeah. This is his grown up birthday so list. You guys saying Fletch Fest is actually what kind of spurred this idea in my head, along <laughs> with the bumper music that we came back to, the royalty free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot of nightclubs here in San Diego. <laughs> and like going to a nightclub is kind of a miserable experience if you're in the middle in the pit with all the different people. But going to a nightclub and being on stage looks like it would be a lot of fun. Wow. Like you Go get the bottle on. service wow. coming to okay. you. You're standing up there. You get to hype up the crowd. You get to do all the party okay. stuff without getting like, bumped by sweaty dudes. Like it's the DJ. Good. Wait. Yes. Are you going to want to be up on stage? I want the three of us to like headline alongside DJ Polly D or somebody that comes to San Diego this year and okay. be able to be the hype man okay. on the stage. You know, like get your effing hands up. Bah, 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 it's going to have to be ADA compliant. No, I'll be okay by that. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that like, if there was one I show that could really pull this off, it'd be like Frankie V who I think actually does stuff like this every once in a while. Dude, oh, yeah. we know people, we but then it would be people. us. So yeah. could you imagine like Beto. The, the three of us on stage at one of these wait, clubs wait. with a bunch of sweaty people in the crowd are and you, we're like throwing cake and stuff like Steve Aoki. Are you suggesting Bigger It's TD and Fletch Fest? Yes. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, right. Write it down. Yeah, write that down. Write that down. Here, here's a new piece of paper. Here. <laughs> like we just need a nightclub in San Diego to allow us to do this. And we need to find a celebrity DJ with enough sway who's like, yeah, I'll do whatever. We could have three guys come up and ruin my show. And I don't think we would ruin it. I think we would make it a lot better. I think you're right. I, I mean, you're on to something. Wait, how here. many how many raves have you been to in your life? I went through a phase in college where I was going to quite a few, but then <laughs> since I've been an adult in San Diego, I've been to like two. And I got to be honest, both of them were pretty miserable. But wow, I've, uh, that's because I've, I was in the crowd. I can say I've been to zero. But, They're pretty but, fun. But I mean, if you want to name one after us, I'll I guess I'll be there. I'll go to at least one. Yeah, I'll go yeah. at least one, and maybe many more. Going to be that. sweaty in a flannel there. 
I know that much. No, you got to wear a tank top. <laughs> she have to show off these guns? Wow. Wow. Kick wow, in wow, the wow. face. Wow. <laughs> Kick in the face. Bang a rank. Oh, oh, I completely forgot. All right. wrong I'm going to give you a 30 second monologue. The Chargers finally got something right. I can't believe it. Actually, namely, Jim Harbaugh's got something right. Since he's moved to Los Angeles, he's lived in an RV. That's not a lie. Jim Harbaugh is living out of an RV. I want to do this. So you want Big Rich TD and Fletch Fest? I want us all to subscribe to Van Life and maybe together. For like a week? Dude, can you imagine if we're like somewhere around, I don't know, like Big Bear or... I mean, how many national parks are there? We, we could, could just do a week of remotes from a van Zion out in the middle what? of Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree. How about we go to the Anirondacks? Don't I they mean, have like a hotel out in Joshua Tree that looks like a UFO? Um, we're they going, have a bunch we'll, of we'll Airbnbs yeah. <laughs> that are RV. full windows. Like the entire house is windows. Jim Harbaugh, that weirdo, he is living his best life right now. Like he is literally like, this is what I always wanted to do. And now <laughs> I finally get an opportunity to just be me. <laughs> I mean, this is either going to be a complete success for the Chargers or a disaster. I'm here for either one, but their head coach is living out of an RV right now. <laughs> he said he was going to do it because they asked him, where are you going to live? He was like, well, first, I'm just going to travel around in RV to really figure out what spot I like. And he wasn't <laughs> kidding, guys. And so I think we should do this, too. Not really as a sign of solidarity for the Chargers or their weird new head coach, but just because it sounds awesome. It might be fun. Yeah. Yeah, Dude, yeah, campfires every night, tons of Coors Light. That sounds like a great time to me. I, I, mean, I got nothing. Uh, I got nothing. I got nothing but time. Coming up I mean, on that the other sounds side, like Fletch Fest. We have some rumors rumbling out of Minnesota that are going to impact the next season pretty heavily. Mm, we'll get to that a little later. With the, the Twins? Mm. No, the Vikings. Oh. Nothing verified yet, but it looks like something big is about to go down. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking mm -hmm. for something big to start doing this summer. Weird because it's Minnesota. Get the hell out. How did you do that? I thought I thought my log joke couldn't be topped. Right after you made that joke, I I, I said that was a turdy joke. <laughs> so I might owe a lap also. <laughs> but Richie, I know you're always looking to play a little more golf. Oh, 100%. especially as we hit this time of year. Like San Diego courses are beautiful. We get the rain and now it's so green everywhere you go. But if you're looking to start playing some more golf in San Diego and building relationships while you're at it, get on over to primetimes.golf today. Think about it like this. It's a golf dating app. For salespeople or for business people, begin your next client relationship on a golf course with an ideal prospect who you select and who accepts your invitation. You can meet up for golf, expand your network within your industry, role, or community in the networking golf groups. You can secure tee times for golf with clients or partners at beautiful golf courses weeks in advance here in San Diego. Grow your business by playing more golf. Primetimes.golf. It's business golf simplified and they got tons of awesome tracks here in san diego available for you to play pretty much every single week here coming up on the calendar uh talk about the vineyards in escondido arrowwood you got coronado you got steel canyon one of our favorites on this show all of these are available on primetimes.golf and you could do the networking golf or you could do value golf let me lay out value golf for you because you're not going to find a better deal you pay 50 bucks a month to sign up for value golf then you get three tee times per month at 20 bucks a round. Do the math. That is $110 for three rounds of golf at some of the premier courses in San Diego. You're not going to beat that anywhere. Tee times are super hard to come by, especially this time of year, especially on the courses I was just telling you about. Value golf is an incredible value for golf here in San Diego. So log on to primetimes.golf today. Choose if you want to do network golf or value golf. Play up to three times a month based on availability. And that's it. Primetimes.golf business or business golf made simple. Get on over to primetimes.golf and sign up today.
Hey, guys, you know that uh, it's no secret that uh, I tried all these different fad diets, right? Well, I mean, you know, at least some of the fad diets. These prescription medication diets that uh, I could never get. Well, it's a good thing I didn't, uh, because what you don't want to do is yo-yo diet. And that's what happens when you do some of these fad diets, these prescription medication diets. You you lose weight, and then as soon as you stop, you gain it all back. In fact, you gain it all back and then some, uh, because these prescription medication diets, they're just appetite suppressants. They just help you stop eating while you're taking the shot or the drug or whatever it is. As soon as you stop, you're you're, you're fat again. It's no good, man. You, we want to lose weight the healthy way. That's what you want to do. That's what SD Fat Loss does. They show you the healthy way to lose weight and lose weight fast. And then here's the most important detail. Keep that weight off. The coaches, the staff there, Wayne, Chloe, when you go to sdfatloss.com, you will schedule a free consultation. They'll sit down with you. They can do it over the phone. You can do it via Zoom. You can go there in person. Whatever you'd like to do, they'll meet with you. And they're going to tailor make a diet plan for you that will work best for your lifestyle. And you are going to drop weight quickly. I promise you that. In eight weeks' time, I lost 31 pounds. Rich was 35. Fletch pushing 50 pounds gone here with SD Fat Loss. You're going to do the same. You're going to lose 20 to 30 pounds in eight weeks. And I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you it works. Every time you get on that scale, it's going to be dropping. That's what it did for us, especially that first month, which is fantastic because that's what puts you in the game. That's what makes you want to keep going back. Plus, you're going to feel a whole lot better. So lose weight the fast way, the healthy way with SDFatLoss.com. This update is presented by Superstar Car Wash, starting off right here in San Diego. Uh, big day tomorrow coming up in San Diego sports. It gets started at 110. Padres playing their home opener against the San Francisco Giants. You Darvish going to be on the mound. You can join us pregame at the Blind Borough downtown and then at 439. Aztecs playing in the Sweet 16. It's a rematch of last year's national championship game. Our pregame coverage will get going at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Ted Leitner will be on the call at 439. And Ted Leitner going to be joining the show coming up in the next hour. In the NFL, league approving some massive changes to the kickoff rules. The new rules are going to encourage, encourage more returns and more action on kickoffs. And in the NBA last night, Lakers took two overtimes, but they beat the Bucks last night, 128-124. It's spring savings at Superstar Car Wash. Lock in unlimited car washes for just 15 bucks a month uh, with the clean plan. March 28th through April 1st, available at any location or online. Visit superstarcarwash.com for details. Terms and conditions do apply. Social D tickets coming up. We got a $50 uh, gift card to Islands. It's bigger as TD and Flesh. San Diego Sports 760. I love this. I love it. Uh, the talk back mic. If you are listening on the free iHeartRadio app, lower right hand side, just see a little microphone. Tap that microphone. Send us a message. It's like a, like a little personal answering machine. Message comes right to us. In fact, I think one uh, came in here. Did it not? Throw hands up. Oh wow! <laughs> Flesh Flesh Flesh. Flesh. That's what I'm saying, dude. Uh, yeah, we actually Flesh. we got a talk back that is specifically for Rich's ears. So if you're not named Rich Ornberger, oh, wow. stop wow. listening. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Rich, you want to hear this? It's yeah. about your whole toilet dilemma at the household. <laughs> yeah. You 
know what? Uh, ah. If you if you did that when you stood back up, I mean, the seat would stick to you for a second. I, yeah, well, I suppose so. The other problem is like, okay, so Annie if, would break her hip. Well, yeah, if you have a thin hipped uh, significant other and you grease the lid, all of a sudden <laughs> they go to sit down. I mean, what happens? What happens if they get stuck on? <laughs> on the other side, you mean oh, because like you're creating a gasket. Yeah, all oh, of a you, sudden, you yeah. have a tight seal. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like all of a sudden, it's like a wing nut. You know what I mean? Like you squeeze the booty through, and now there's no turning back. I guess you'd have to grease the other side. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh God. I guess you, if you if you unbolted the seat at that point, help me, step husband. <laughs> no, I'm no, stuck. No. <laughs> Okay, and then we asked for a talk back. Any guess who has uh, jumped on the talk back feature? Who? Our guy Joe Moon. Okay, there he is. Joe yeah, Joe yeah, Moon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We, we must hear yeah, this yeah, one. Dude, I like it. <laughs> so it was so was uh those were so many Padre positives. I want I uh, wish like I just honestly for Joe Moon and Joe Moon alone, I wish we had more time on the talk back. Yeah. Like I wish it didn't cut him off. I like, could listen to it for the rest of the show. Like we need to put in some sort of code to give him like unlimited space. There's no yeah. doubt about it. We need <laughs> to subscribe to Joe Moon's like top tier OnlyFans. <laughs> Whatever it is. And then, I mean, what we need to uh, protect that man at all costs. Joe Moon is the best. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have plenty to get to those social D tickets. Like Travis was talking about islands, $50 gift card. As a matter of fact, if you're listening to this segment, keep listening for that $50 gift card. Mm -hmm. You catch my drift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you do. All right. Um, we got to play red pill, blue pill. You got to have only one of these for the rest of your life. That's the rules of the game. So we start here. Red pill tater tots blue pill steak fries God. the answer for me could not be any more clear really tater tots red pill oh. no questions asked i no questions asked i'm not even looking back at steak fries wait are tater tots your top tier like what if all of a sudden there was a bonus round and it was like tater tots crinkle cut fries it's a closer battle because I like a well done crinkle fry, but I think I'm still going. I'm rolling with tater tots there as well. Tater you tots, me, curly fry. Curly fry takes it then. <laughs> curly yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ask me this question, the fry? majority of the year, I think I go with steak fries. But since you're asking me the day before, like the Padres home opener, all I'm thinking about is Bub's loaded tots down by the gas Ooh. lamp. Ooh, loaded tots. Yeah. Good right now. yeah, loaded tots work. So I think I got to go tots. I like both of these. Um, I don't like this at all. One forever? Forever. That's the rules. Can't change the rules now. I'd probably go tots. See? I'd probably I'd probably go red pill tots. I got more versatility there. Guess what? You're back on the RV. <laughs> You're back on the RV. <laughs> Woo! All right, next one. Red pill, three nipples, blue pill, 11 toes. <laughs> Either way, it's on at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah, because either you're showcasing 11 toes or you're wearing socks, you weirdo. Or you're just, I mean, proudly displaying three nipples bare chested, or you go in the water, you come out, and people are like, wait a second, I'm seeing through his shirt. Does he have three nipples? No hiding. Well, they're both huge conversation pieces. Yeah, Fletch and I'm like, really thinking about this. Well, one. a guy like me, I like to take my shirt off a lot. If I had three nipples, that would be instant conversation starter. But I also so, wear a so lot you're of in. Like you're, this is a good thing. So, but I also know because I listened to the latest. Uh, what's the when Rogan has the other comedians on? What's oh, uh, protect your parts. That one. They okay. have a new one and it's hilarious. But I was listening to it and they were talking about how three nipples was a sign of being a witch, and like that was part of the reason yeah. they would get burnt at the stake or actually like drowned. Maybe okay, I don't know. Yeah. But so maybe I'm going toast. How many people had three nipples? So look, I'll tell you what. My gut reaction here was I'll take the extra toe, and then I thought. What if I stub that toe all the time? You got one eleven toe Whoa. sticking out. I mean, good God! Yeah, I guess it depends where it is. I can I ask for <laughs> two? Can I get two big toes? What? I mean, can you imagine the leverage you oh, have? That's true. I would be an NFL yeah. kicker with two big toes. I'd be the next Sebastian Janikowski. 
It would be amazing. Oh my I don't God, know, I don't I got know if you can choose the extra toe. It's just like you spin the wheel and it, that's what toe you get. Make this more challenging. Yeah. Nine toes or one nipple. Jesus. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, okay. Is that I'm, more challenging? Okay, okay, I, think I would say I would go nine, nine okay. toes. The nipple loop, is loop. dead center in the middle of your chest. <laughs> wow. Okay. Like the all seen eye <laughs> Cyclops nipple? Okay, I'm going 11 toes or nine toes. I'm what? going with toes because they're easier to hide. I mean, just think about oh. it. If you're at the beach and you refuse to take your shirt off, people are like, all right, what's going on with him? But if you're like just digging your toes in the sand to hide them while you're sitting in the beach chair, nobody's going to question that. That's true. So I'm going blue pill, 11 toes. Uh, I think I'm going third nipple just for fear of uh, fear of pain while I'm trying to walk to the bathroom in the dark. Okay, red pill, cupcake, blue pill, piece of cake. For the rest of your life, you can only have one. <sighs> it depends. Rough. No, don't depend. Wait, does, wait, wait, don't wait, you... what, what does it depend on? Who made the cake? Well, I guess like any flavor is available for both of these, right? That's yeah, correct. Any, any yeah. Flavor. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just it's it's kind of like, do you want your cake on the go? Right, but the best cake I've ever had is better than the best cupcake I've ever had. So See, I'm going cake. Okay. Yeah, See, I, I agree ahead. with that. And I, I actually yeah. I like the icing the cake ratio better in a cake. This one sounds harder than it actually is. It's cake and it's a blue pill and it's not even a question for me. Think about chocolate molten lava cake. Ooh, Think about like true. the fact that cupcakes are so easy to be dry, whereas like a cake, it's usually damp and moist. Yeah. CPK's butter cake. God. Oh, God. Banana bread? <laughs> that work, dude? Did you just bring up CPK? They're butter cake. It's to die for. I don't, I don't think I've had California Pizza Kitchen since I was like 17 years Guys, old. Guys, let's work in a sports red pill, yeah. blue pill. <laughs> okay, about, all right. This one's going to be the toughest one of the day, I promise. Check this out. Red pill, Padres win the World Series. Blue pill, Aztecs win the National oh. Championship. You can only have one. Aztecs. You say Aztecs. I do. National wow. champion. You know okay. what? Golly. I'll tell you why. Okay, go go why while I try to sort this out in my head. Because they're on that trajectory, right? And they've built that program the correct way from Steve Fisher to Brian Dutcher. It's been consistency the whole way through. And in my personal life, I have more fun watching basketball than I do watching mm. baseball. Okay, yeah, mm. that's fair. You know so okay. for me, seeing the Aztecs, the team who, like, I mean, I feel like I've watched every second of Lamont Butler's career as he's really grown up in this program, and that I could say that about every Aztecs player. So I, for me personally, it would be a better connection for me if the Aztecs won. I would say for most of San Diego, they would say the Padres. Well, I'm telling you what right now, I, I think I figured it out. I'm going to take the red pill, which is a Padres World Series, and I'll tell you why. I think the Aztecs are going to do it on their own. I think it's going to take a magic pill for the Padres to win a World Series. <laughs> That's such a good way to look at it. All right. So I've waffled back and forth, especially listening to what Fletch just said. Um, so the Aztecs aren't going anywhere, right? SDSU, they're right. our team. They've been here 100 years. They'll be here until forever. Uh, the Padres can move away at any moment. So you would assume, based on that evaluation, like the knee-jerk reaction would be, well, of course, then I want the national championship over the red pill, the Padres World Series. But here's the most compelling case I can make for any of this. We lost somebody great because it's so unique in sports for an owner to be beloved like Peter Seidler was. And I want to see that promise come true for him, for his legacy. I want them to build the statue, and I want it to say the 2020s will be the decade of Padres' success underneath it, and we'll be able to visit it and throw flowers at his feet because he should be celebrated for, you know, hopefully centuries to come also. I hope the Padres aren't going anywhere. That's not promised to us, but I I, I would take the red pill. I, I want the Padres to win a World Series. You might have just swayed me. It's just, it's just, it's the season. Well, but it would yeah. have to happen like ASAP, right now. Like, like give because me the, Peter oh, Seidler's yeah. promise would have to come true within the 2020s. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on. Is there? If I take the red pill, it could happen decades from now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <Yeah. laughs> okay, oh, last one on a lighter note. So, it's Rich, that was beautiful, and I really like that. But mm -hmm. uh, red pill, zombie apocalypse, blue pill, robot apocalypse. <laughs> I feel like we're probably pretty close to either one of these. <laughs> <laughs> This one, this one is actually easier than I thought it would be for me, uh, because I, I initially thought like, oh God, you know, there's there's pluses and minuses to yep, both of these, no doubt. Uh, and I thought I would probably go zombie apocalypse because I feel like I've, I could beat a lot of zombies. Travis okay. Dale would do better than anyone in a zombie apocalypse. Well, I like there what is I no 
doubt I he would be that the guy in the movies. movie that they visit and he has all the weapons stockpiled and they're all creations of his own mind and it turns out travis dale's a psychopath the entire time and we've just been standing next to him in normal life where he's like mildly successful but in the zombie <laughs> apocalypse he's extremely yeah. successful <laughs> yeah all of a sudden he's like the president yeah. of the r usa which is the remaining usa <laughs> I, I think I'd go red pill on this just for the ease of beating the zombies. Also, if you ever watch any zombie apocalypse movie, it's still sunny and bright outside. Any robot apocalypse, it's dark and there's everything's burning. That's a great point. <laughs> it's awful. That is such a good point. Um, so listen, we promised it. We will deliver. We have a $50 gift card to Islands. Islands has a vast menu of items, family-friendly, beachy vibe, atmosphere, delicious food and drinks. They have the happiest happy hour starting weekdays, 3 to 6.30. Uh, the cheesiest cheddar fries. Of uh, the coldest beer in town. Visit Islands, find burgers and drinks. Uh, your chance to win in about three minutes. So call it exactly 750. If you're calling number five, you are going to be able to take the fam out for a $50 meal at Islands on Us coming up next. We have to move on to this. It's very, very important. It's very, very important. It's the best bracket up update. And, and it's for you. And it's on the other side. The polling's out on Twitter. Check it out. Big Rich TD Fletch. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, look, 
Dave and Buster's, man. That's the place to be. Dave and Buster's. Because you can catch all the college basketball tournament games in March at Dave and Buster's. In fact, we were just there. We did a party to go watch the Aztecs. And I'm telling you, the place is awesome. We sat down in the lower level there at the Mission Valley location. 125-foot screen in front of us. Three of them, actually, spanning the, the globe. Well, if the globe is the building itself, it's absolutely amazing. But they got a new, improved, outrageously delicious menu. We were just ordering off the app menu. $5 apps. They just kept coming, and they kept coming, and they kept coming. And then every chance we could, we went and we played some of those games. Yeah, you know, Dave and Buster's got all the games there, the arcade games that I love so much. In fact, the new games keep rolling into Dave and Buster's, games you've never even seen before. But go there, man. Check out. They got TVs all over the place, not just 125-foot screens, but TVs everywhere you go, all around the bar. You can watch the UFC sea fights, baseball games, basketball, whatever you're into, or all of it. And they got a happy hour that happens Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. We're talking half price cocktails, dollar off drafts, dollar off glasses of wine. And if you're a military or first responder, Dave and Buster's tips the hat, man. All day, every day, you get a 10% discount. So schedule your next event by calling them directly or visit DaveAndBusters.com. Like I said, they got a location out in Mission Valley. They got one up in Carlsbad. So no matter where you're at, there's a Dave and Buster's close to you. Dave and Buster's, I'll see you out there. on a Wednesday and it is the eve of San Diego sports Christmas we have the Aztecs going to the Sweet 16 their game tips off tomorrow against the Yukon Huskies Teddy ball game Ted Leitner Uncle Teddy the voice of the Aztecs will be joining us coming up next hour also we got Padres opening day Giants coming to town, San Francisco, San Diego. That's how we open our season stateside. That's Congrats awesome. to William, who just won that Islands gift card. He's excited to take the family out. Man, it's not wild. William Wayne Dale, is it? Wild Bill. Wild Bill. Wild Bill Dale. No, nicely done. Nicely done. Wild Bill Dale can't win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's your dad? <laughs> it's my brother. Oh, that's your brother? Yeah. I always said, oh, that's right. He's William <laughs> Wayne, Wayne Dale. Dale, and he goes by his middle name. Mm -hmm. And you, <laughs> you go by your first name, but if you didn't, it would be too... Two Richards on this show. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And you know what they say? <laughs> what? You can, we two can Richards. Say, two two Richards. One, one show. What? <laughs> two, <laughs> two, two Richards. One Fletch. <laughs> and that is Fletch Fest. We call this show Spit Roasted. Brought to you by. No, I'm kidding. Okay. All right. All right. All right. No, no. We're what? fine. We're fine. We're, everything's fine. <gasps> anyway, so I'm I want to talk to everybody about my feed. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Also, in all, let's take a quick timeout. I'm signaling 30 seconds to the scorer stable. I'm only going to need 15 here. Coming up next hour, we have our day of getting, uh, giving. We've partnered with Jersey Mike's. Every dollar spent at Jersey Mike's today is going to Rady Children's Hospital. So get out to Jersey Mike's today for lunch and dinner. It's going to a great cause. We're going to have a very special interview coming up on the other side. Like we said, Ted Leitner joining us. He's going to talk about the Aztecs in the Sweet 16. Also, Kevin AC joining us. He's going to talk to us about opening day. How about that for a jam-packed 8 o'clock hour? Also, it's Fletch Fest. And you know what? <laughs> Let's stop there and talk about uh, Fletch's feet, which, which, by the way, 
He is only wearing one shoe right now. But inside that shoe, folks, and I've confirmed this this morning, he's wearing good feet store arch support. Because when he's pedaling around on his scooter, keeping his other leg, which recently he broke, uh, elevated, he needs to have a strong foundation. And that's what the arch supports from Good Feet Star provide, a great foundation for the rest of your body. So if you're struggling with uh, foot pain or ankle pain like Fletch or knee pain or hip pain or back pain, you need to go to the Good Feet Store because these arch supports will get you in perfect alignment. It'll help you relieve pain. It's been doing it for me for years now, literally years. I stopped by their Mission Valley store two years ago and I haven't looked back. You should too. So again, if you have back pain, if you have neck pain, it helps with your posture. It could help with your neck pain. If you have hip pain, knee pain, foot pain, ankle pain, goodfeet.com. Schedule your free test walk today. Goodfeet.com.
Good morning. Welcome in. It's hour three on Big Rich TD and Fletch. This update presented by Taco Bell. Starting off right here in San Diego, we got a big day tomorrow in San Diego sports. It gets started at 110 as the Padres play their home opener against the Giants. You Darvish will be on the mound for the Padres. Join us pregame at the Blind Borough downtown and then at 439. Aztecs playing in the Sweet 16. It's a rematch of last year's national championship game. San Diego State and UConn with a chance to head to the Elite Eight on the line. Listen right here, starting at 4 o'clock on San Diego Sports 760. Taco Bell is introducing the new Cantina Chicken Menu with a new Cantina Chicken Burrito, Quesadilla Bowl, and Tacos featuring their new slow-roasted chicken. Try the Cantina Chicken Menu today at participating U.S. Taco Bell locations. While supplies last, contact store for participation, which varies. Welcome to San Diego Sports 760. It's a Wednesday and happy Wednesday to those who celebrate. We are enjoying right now the ambient sounds of TD unwrapping a Jersey Mike sub. Come on, it's the Dave Gibby. That's right. Actually, I'm going to open up my sub right now, too. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's see what we got in here. Uh-huh. Oh uh-huh. my goodness. What well, is this? Is this a number two? This is a number five super sub. Well, you got two? Oh no, I got the super I got, sub. Super I got sub. The super sub. I got the super sub. Look. Okay. Very good. Mm. Mm. 14th annual month of giving here in March at Jersey Mike's. Thank goodness. Mm-hmm. Thank goodness. Right now, the day of giving, 100% of the sales of local money goes to Rady, right? Come on. You got to do it today, though. This is the this is a cool day because you go to Jersey Mike's, you, you, all you got to do is buy. Yeah. Just buy the sandwich you're going to buy anyways. This is the easiest money you're going to spend, the best mm-hmm. money you're going to spend this year for a great cause. Our partners at Jersey Mike's are holding that annual day of giving all of their sales today. Go to Rady Children's Hospital. It's an annual thing for Ra- uh, Jersey Mike's. Uh, it's been a month-long campaign. It culminates today. So get to Jersey Mike's, buy a sandwich, get the super sub. Maybe the 13 Mike's way. That's the Italian. Yeah. That's what I well, like. I like to go the nine and then I add yellow mustard Ro- on the rosemary parm. Got to go rosemary parm. Rosemary parm is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> All right. In studio, <laughs> joining us right now to celebrate the day of giving, we have Jennifer and Chris and their three wonderful children. Uh, we have Haley and John. And we have Declan. Or Sean. Or Sean. Did I say John yeah. again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sean. You know what, Sean? Sean. You're going to grow up to be a but, great John one what? day. That's right. <laughs> right. No, you, said, you said John and he squinted. Yeah. He's so like, you son. You SOB. Yeah, he, he reached for I my collar. You choke on that sub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chris, his dad just held him back. He yeah. grabbed my freak for my collar. Yeah. <laughs> but Declan, Declan, you spent a little time at Rady Children's Hospital. Uh, this is years ago now. Um, but why don't you bring us through this story? Because it involved a bike ride, you know, just like any kid riding around on a bike, normal day. But what happened? Um, so it was, I was on break and I just wanted to go my, to my friend's house and hang out. And while I was going there, there was this huge road, just going straight up and down. And there was a turn, I was like halfway through. And I either swatted at a fly and tripped or I tripped on something. And the handlebars twist the handlebars twisted, and it hits my stomach, Ooh. and the I want to say grip, the grip fell was off the bike. Yeah, it mm-hmm. was like broke, so it was just pure metal, and it hit the main arteries that that supplied blood to my liver, <sighs> so it was nonstop bleeding. Wow! Wow! So wow! I mean, it's essentially a metal pipe just rammed into your stomach. Yep. How old were you when that happened? 10. You were 10 years old. Were you scared? Yes. Yeah, I'd be scared too. I mean, like, I'm thinking about that as I'm 38. Like, if that happened to me now, I would be terrified. So you go through this ordeal. You said you're bleeding, and it's a scary situation. What were the what were the first things that mom and dad did? Um, dad was at work. He was heading home because I called my mom on SOS. Yeah. On my watch. watch. Right. Oh, and that watch that saved my life, and I got rushed to the hospital. I got blood. Got uh, the doctor put blood into me from the road mm-hmm. because I was low on blood. I was about to die, mm-hmm. and <sighs> I do not remember it. Thankfully, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then uh, you you get to Rady, the fine folks at Rady. They uh, they put you back together, man. How long were you in the hospital? 
uh, 33 days. Oh, geez, oh, Lord. That's Non-stop a long stop SpongeBob. No. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> well, hold, hold on now. Okay, sounds yeah. now sounding pretty good. You know, yeah, the pineapple yeah. under the sea. And, yeah. I mean, he's got, you know, a terrible neighbor, mm-hmm. but that's fine. He's got a good buddy named Patrick you Star. Know what's crazy with SpongeBob is I just realized, I mean, like literally like three or four months ago, that all the other houses, he's got the pineapple, yeah. right? Yeah. All the other houses are like mufflers. Dude, yeah. from from like items that have fallen into the bottom of the ocean well yeah so he gets the pineapple they all get mufflers and car parts yeah and by the way this is actually it's full circle moment for me because i found a snail on my fence this morning <laughs> i named them gary anyways we move on to not Chris. larry <laughs> is, is it, no, no. no it was gary and then uh gary left him because patrick had bacon right oh that's and then right. he got a that's second right. one he named it larry i've never watched which the show Declan. To- Princess yeah. Declan to your brother John. No, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know your name, Sean. Right. Um, but uh, Chris, uh, Declan's dad. So this this is going down. You're you're at work. You get you get yeah. notified what just happened. I mean, what is going through your it head? Was, yeah, it was it was. Here, get right on that mic. Oh yeah, it was pretty crazy. The um, Declan was wearing a watch, and he's got a little button that says SOS. So I was I work down here in North Island. We live up at Pendleton. So um jennifer was thankfully home uh she went down the street kind of picked them up called 911 first responders got there um saw that he was massive like internally bleeding it was it didn't like penetrate the skin but um they they immediately called for air support we got the uh, mercy air helicopter right on base wow and then right into uh rady uh, emergency er like helicopter landed down the roof um you know throughout that whole trip uh they were doing CPR. Um, yeah, it was like 35 minutes of CPR. Man, oh, man. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I, yeah, we, it's, so we, we all have kids here. So, I mean, I our hearts are wrenching as we tell the story here. I look at uh, mom, Jennifer, as you stand behind Declan, and I'm thinking, I don't know if I could hear this story again as mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, golly. But Declan, you're back on the bike. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you, cool. dude. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Declan, you're a superstar. You're you're a hero to a lot of young kids who have been through similar ordeals or currently getting help at Rady Children's Hospital. Um, Sean, Haley, you're superstars too for supporting your brother. We appreciate mm-hmm. you so much. And we appreciate Jersey Mike's for partnering with Rady Children's Hospital, their annual day of giving. If I mean, like, if you're not moved by this story, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, you right. know, it, Just, it's, go get a sub. Go get a sub. Go get a sub. Go you're you're going to save lives uh, like Declan here. By the way, Declan, our very own Fletch, uh, well, not not quite the similar story. He did step on an acorn and broke his leg. Uh, he currently has a broken leg. Yeah. Uh, Fletch, so, why don't you show Cassie? Yeah, He's go very ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, so yeah. you can, yeah, Look, check this yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, interestingly, at 28 years old, he was also sent to Rady Children's Hospital. Yeah, we yeah. thought it was weird, but they said, no, he applies. Yeah, he he yeah, does yeah. still yeah. have to go to right. the Children's Hospital. But So anyways, guys, thank you for dropping by. Yeah. Declan, thank you for your bravery, sharing that story. I know year after year we do the give This isn't our first time talking to you. And thank you for sharing your scars. It's important in life to do that. Keep doing it, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, thank right you. Right on. Right thank on. You. Yeah, yeah thanks for having us, guys. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank awesome. you. You guys yeah. are awesome. Yeah, go buy a yeah. sub. Go buy yeah. a sub, oh, yeah. indeed. That's Jersey right. Mike's, any local location, go straight to Rady Children's Hospital. Uh, let's hit a halftime right here. Maybe. Maybe. He wasn't prepared. Maybe. He was eating a sub. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. You were eating a sub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grab a cup. Well, in San Diego here, we got a big, big day coming up tomorrow. I call it Christmas Eve for sports fans in San Diego as uh, Padres home openers tomorrow at 110. You Darvish going to be on the bump for the pods. You can join us pregame at the Blind Borough downtown. Darren Smithshow will be broadcasting there live. John and Jim right after that. And then the Aztecs, 439. They're playing in the Sweet 16. It's a rematch of last year's national championship game. San Diego State and UConn with a chance to head to the Elite Eight on the line. Listen here on San Diego Sports 760. We'll get pregame going at 4 o'clock. In the NFL, the league approves massive changes to the kickoff. The new rules are going to encourage more returns and more action. And in the NBA, Lakers, it took two overtimes, but they took down the Bucks last night. Anthony Davis played 54 minutes in the game 
128 to 124. TD, do you want to do some halftime well, scores? I would, have, I would have said the Lakers, Alice Cooper, Mili Wake, which is <laughs> Algonquin for the good land, 128-124 you know, in overtime. Why don't you do all the scores? <laughs> okay, well, uh, the Warriors sound machined Miami. 113.92. The Thunder clapped the Pelicans. 119.112. Boy, is that and, a double <laughs> entendre? What? What? I had no idea. And Dallas, Texas drunken nut Sacramento'd 132.96. <laughs> Apparently, Texas drunken nut is a candy they have out there. You know, I didn't know that until just now. I'm glad you shared that information with yeah. us. Yeah, so they Texas drunken nut Sacramento. <laughs> we say that. They, oh yeah, you're damn what? right. Well, yeah. I mean, look, it's the oh. Texas the Texas drunken nut. It's this caramel <laughs> nut thing. <laughs> I looked it up. <laughs> Listen, I read an editorial. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. That, we saw it. Uh, it was in an editorial. Right. It was in an article we read. Um, exactly. Ted Leitner joining us in just a few minutes here. Um, he is out in the northeast of the country. He's preparing for his call as the Aztecs take on the Yukon Huskies. We asked a question earlier. All right. Sweet 16 Aztecs. They're playing for their tournament lives tomorrow. And then you have Padres opening day. What are you more nervous about? Mm. I mean, because look. We laid it out. I mean, yeah, there's urgency with the Aztecs, but they still get to raise a banner either way, win or lose. Okay. Oh, yeah. and Padres, Padres, they're starting a season. That you could argue this could be one of the most important seasons of this decade for the Padres because if they lose, what ha if they have a losing season or, you know, or, or even a, they replicate results from a year, which obviously were disappointing last year. But what happens next? Is AJ Preller still with the team? Is, is one of these superstar <laughs> contracts traded away? So we can be very honest, looking back on this year for San Diego State, this will be one of the three or four best teams San Diego State basketball has ever put out on the court because of where they are already, where they've already been to. They're in the Sweet 16. Uh, that is something that will last forever, a Sweet 16 year in 2024. The Padres, this might be the year where the entire thing burns down. Yeah, we said that last year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I, I'm a little surprised it didn't, to be completely honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. same. Same. In that, but that's what I'm saying. I guess... I, I don't know. My expectations on the Padre seasons at the moment are are pretty even keel. Like, I'm not trying to get too over my skis here, uh, which is crazy because, I mean, look at the talent on this roster. It's insane. It's just not the same level as it was last season. So you're kind of feeling like it's not going to be as good of a season. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I mean, yeah. look, here's the deal. Here's the deal. If the Padres somehow screw this up, which I'm not counting on because I think they've really cured a lot of what ailed them this offseason, trading for Dylan Cease. You know, so they have a one, two, three rotation yeah, right now. It was a good and pickup. Yeah, I, it really was. And and you could make the argument that Waldron being the fifth starter, I mean, that could end up being something special. Like we've seen this before. And and to give Preller, to to give Preller credit. He's hit on a lot of pitchers. Yep. He really has. Like, he's done a nice job with closers, with relievers. It hasn't been 100%. There have been some misses. There have been some big swings and misses. But he's been pretty good at bringing in talent at that position. Now, from a lineup standpoint, it's left something to be desired because for years and years and years, clutch hitting has been an issue. Getting runners in after they get on base has been an issue. And if that starts opening up here with good pitching, obviously that's the answer to the whole question. That's the whole shebang. You have good pitching, you have good hitting. You're going to win a lot of games. I guess I should turn my mic on. I was eating Jersey Mike, so I turned the mic on. <laughs> You're welcome, everyone. Chomp, 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 yeah, but, I mean, chomp, but that's just it, right? I mean, if, if every if every cylinder is firing, then you should win games. But we'll see here as we get ready to start in, what, uh, 20, oh, sorry, 30 hours. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're we're within striking distance here. Opening day, coming to Petco Park, San Francisco Giants visiting the Padres. That's how they open their stateside season. Uh, looking forward to that. And then the Aztecs being in the Sweet 16, you know, let's wear those shoes for a second. So in the history of the program, you've never had back-to-back -back years as successful as the years that we're experiencing Correct. with these, these San Diego State Aztecs. And I think... Going into the tournament, we all voiced our concerns. The perimeter shooting was an issue. The fact that this is a very Jaden Ledee-reliant team was an issue. 
I don't know if all those issues are resolved after one great game against Yale, but it sure feels a lot better going into UConn than it did after yeah. UAB. Yeah. Uh, did you guys see Dutch on the court immediately after the win over Yale? And he's being interviewed by CBS Sports, and he said, yeah, you know, at times this year we've been three-point dysfunctional. And it was a very funny line from Coach Dutcher, but he said it with a little laugh, but it's been true, man. They mm -hmm. haven't been able to shoot. Like, that's been the biggest problem facing this team. So you look at what the Aztecs did against Yale and how can you transfer that power that you had, the perfection that you played with, and make that happen against UConn too. It's it's nearly impossible task to repeat perfection, but if the Aztecs can do it, man, they got a real shot to win this thing. Now listen, it is Christmas Eve for the San Diego sports fan. There's no question about that, but it is also a very special day indeed. We are celebrating Fletch Fest here on Big Rich TD and Fletch. This is a special day where 28 oh God, what's years happening? ago... A very special man came in into our lives, and he came out a man, full beard, bald head. Yep. Um, <laughs> he was he was birthed from Angela and Keith and uh, entered this world kicking and screaming and hasn't stopped yet. Uh, as a matter of fact, he was kicking and screaming not just days ago when he broke his leg <laughs> after slipping on an acorn. That's correct. That's but he, correct. he is our very own Ben Fletcher, and we celebrate today his mm. birthday. Wow. It's yeah. Fletch Fest yeah, 24. Here we go. Here we and, go. Uh, and, and Travis, yeah. so you, you, TD, he came into the studio because we're delivering our gifts to you. You're right. not going to move. Right. Correct. Yeah, you don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. I bring this to you, and then I, I realized that after now getting this gift, this may be more of a gift for Kendall, which, <laughs> which doesn't sound great. But anyways, uh, go ahead. Go ahead and open there. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's not that it's not that <laughs> he whispered yeah, yeah. something very naughty. <laughs> so you guys didn't have to give me a yeah. present, but I'm glad you did. Right, there we, we go. go. All right, I was I'm got the first one, first one coming son. out. Okay, this one here I got because I thought you needed some manliness. Oh, a yeah. Brixton hat. Yeah, look, I mean that's something like a real man would wear, and it's not alcohol related. So uh, so I saw you out on your uh, your date there. For your birthday. Oh, yeah. Where'd you go, by the way? Nice mm -hmm. place. Fancy. Last place. night we were at Zintai Fung. You got Ooh, one more yeah, in there, yeah. buddy. Oh, yeah. Pick yeah. up the bag. The night before we were at uh, Monarch in okay. Del Mar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I noticed as the photos were uh, taken there, I'm like, this guy, this guy does not own <laughs> anything that doesn't have some sort of beer related something on it. So there you go. So a nice new. That's now? a Travis Matthew t shirt. It's a golf shirt. Oh it's a golf shirt. Gosh. It's a golf shirt. But you know what? I feel like that's an adult shirt. Yeah. You're like that's. Yeah, yeah. Like you can wear that and people would be like, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 He's this, 28. Yeah. This is guy, this guy who's <laughs> approaching 30. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for understanding how bad my fashion sense yeah. is. Yeah. Well, it's fine. I just, I honestly, I was like, <laughs> Kindle, I bet's like, do you have anything that doesn't have some sort of alcohol related emblem on it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, TD. Yeah. So, was happy birthday, buddy. Uh, as we celebrate Fletch Fest, I too have gotten Fletch a present, mm -hmm. and it's something that I think uh, I think well, frankly, he'll enjoy, but maybe we'll all enjoy. Um, Fletch, if you will, I'd like you to look underneath your keyboard in the production studio. That's right, not that, no, one. not that one. Wrong one. <laughs> yes, yeah, two Wrong keyboards. One. There oh, we go. Oh, okay. Is there a folded piece of paper? Well, let's unfold it. Let's yeah. see what's happening on this piece of paper. That was sneaky. Well, yeah, it, it happens. <laughs> It happens. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the same one I got you guys? <laughs> no, it's not. We're going paintballing, buddy. Yeah, velocity paintball out of Ramona. Uh, no, we printed that this morning, and when I printed it, uh, I didn't realize I printed all the code for the clip art. I printed like a ream of paper. Dude, dude, so, so yesterday I was about to go out of your present. And I'm like putting on my coat. And I literally, it was like, I, I'm unlatching the deadbolt to the front door. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I don't need to go anywhere at all. I know exactly when I'm going to get him. And so this morning we went on Google Images and TD was able to find the exact image you used when you promised us paintball on Christmas. But what was great is when we did the oh. big game tailgate, we gave away the four pack of Velocity Paintball. You went, hey, that was your Christmas, guys. <laughs> It, it was. So guess what? <laughs> now it's back. We're, we're, we're going paintballing. <laughs> well, you gotta get that leg well. You know. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, give me like two or three months, and I'll be ready to paintball it up. Just God, don't shoot my ankle. It'd be funny oh, though if Lord. you went paintballing with the broken ankle, you had to wheel around everywhere. I love this so much. All yep. right, listen, Kevin AC on the other side. Padres opening day That's tomorrow. Right. Uh, we are absolutely thrilled to be going downtown and enjoying the sights and scenes in the yeah. gas lamp yeah. while Kevin AC is going to be covering the whole game. We're going to be busy drinking. That's right. Yeah, That's no right. big deal. 
No um, big thing. And uh, in the meantime, mm-hmm. uh, you might have to place a couple of uh, couple yeah, of wages. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. You know, because it's almost like my birthday every single day when I open up my phone and open up the pick six app i'm talking about DraftKings pick six because look are you all about nba action because you got to try pick six the newest fantasy app from DraftKings, an official partner of the nba right now new customers can earn a 100 instant deposit match up to 100 dollars in pick six credits when you deposit five dollars or more getting started it's easy couldn't be easier just download the DraftKings pick six app and sign up using code sd760 then you're going to pick at least Two players and then choose if they have more or less of a stat. You know what I'm saying? Like, will they score more or less than 30 points? Or will they have more or less than eight assists? You lock them in and you compete against others for a shot at huge cash prizes. I feel like I'm competing against my whole family now because I've got everybody in the house with the Pick 6 app downloaded to their phones, and we're all doing it because it's easy to do and it's fun to play along, and you can win yourself some money. So download the DraftKings Pick 6 app now and get started with code SD760. New customers can earn a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 in Pick 6 credits when you deposit $5 or more only on DraftKings Pick 6 with code SD760. The crown is yours. One offer per new customer, minimum $5 deposit to receive a match of up to $100 in Pick 6 credits which are non-withdrawable and valid for pick six use only expire after 180 days gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER 18 plus in most eligible states age varies by jurisdiction eligibility restrictions apply pick six not available in all states including but not limited to connecticut and new york for up-to-date list of states visit dkng.co slash pick six states void where prohibited see terms at pick six dot promos all right
We're the four best friends that anyone could have. We're the four best friends that anyone could have. Oh, you're thinking, oh, there's only three of you? Oh, no. Kevin Acey, our fourth best friend, joins us next. We're talking Padres. This update is presented by Summit Racing Equipment. We got Kevin Acey coming up in just a minute, so keep listening. But Padres, they got their home opener tomorrow against the Giants. First pitch, 110, you Darvish on the mound. Join us pregame at the Blind Borough downtown. And then at 439, Aztecs playing in the Sweet 16 in a rematch of last year's national championship game. San Diego State and UConn with a, a chance to head to the Elite Eight on the line. Listen right here on San Diego Sports 760. Pregame coverage gets going at 4 o'clock. Summit Racing has the parts you need to keep your truck rolling right from custom grills to katana covers <laughs> uh, and everything in between. Shop SummitRacing.com. Use promo code RADIO for $10 off an order of $100 or more. Exclusions do apply. Offer ends for fourteen twenty four. Tana. Tana cover. Tana. Tana. Like katana. Like, <laughs> or just like a Tana cover for your truck. You know. You got more? No, no, I'm good. I want to okay. talk about um I want to talk about some social D tickets. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah. Um our best friend in the whole wide world joining us now via satellite. We got him uh, on the imagery here. We got him on the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, our Padres insider, Mr. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Woo! How about that? Yeah. Good morning, Kev. Hey, Kev. Good, good, good morning. Uh, Rich, what were you doing? No, I was getting cupcakes. Okay. No, that was, yeah. I wasn't yeah. doing anything. It's Fletch's birthday. <gasps> what, why did anybody tell me? So well, I could not know. get him just... something. <laughs> <laughs> I expected you to know. Uh -huh. <laughs> I should have Wait. that in my calendar. No. Right next Wait. to my oh. wife's, huh? Okay. You guys, don't, you guys don't celebrate Fletch's birthday at the AC household already? <laughs> Uh, we do. We just don't ever remember it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. It's a, uh, it's a random day in March, what, but uh, all those years ago. Wow. Well, well, happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. Yeah. What are you Thanks, drinking? I mean, what are you, what are you doing? You're going to, you're going to run around today. What are you going to do? Ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing today? 
<laughs> Kevin does not know how not funny that is. What? It's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. A pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> he's uh he's not doing a lot. He's not real mobile. Although I do say when he is traveling around the oh. by the way, he has his leg up in the air. That and, makes me feel bad now. Uh we can we can <laughs> some looks, unexpected nudity. Wow. That's <laughs> yeah. wow. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you know, you, you almost got more than you bargained for. So as Fletch was showing you his broken yeah. leg in the soft cast, mm -hmm. you you almost you almost like oh, a ball <laughs> fall out of the soft, shorts there. Some, uh, some loose shorts there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the compressions on underneath. I will say when he is traveling around the office, he'll scoot around pretty quick, which I feel like is a good argument for us to all wear roller skates. Mm-hmm. Mm mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just Ke a random Kevin, thought. Yeah, Kevin, you, you roller skate. That's our first question. <laughs> no, I I don't. I don't. I don't understand how people do. I I, I mm. cannot stay up. It terrifies me. Yeah, I suck at roller skating too. But I think we're going to do an all skate day mm -hmm. with Kevin AC. That's already been planned. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, that's brought to you by Hamul Casino. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> totally <laughs> random, but you know who's like a stud roller skater? Who? Mm. JJ McCarthy. Future quarterback in the NFL. Wait, what? You he know, plays I... that like a uh, roller tag game that they do in arena. It looks so dangerous. <laughs> like I don't know how he hasn't broken an ankle. Let me ask this mm. question to Kevin AC. Um, are any of the Padres players skating on thin ice as we enter Whoa. the season? Like, wow. I mean, are there wow. any guys who we're leaning on in a big way who you could see getting a short hook? If uh, all of a sudden things start going sideways or sour for uh, for I don't know a rotational arm, a bullpen guy, or one of these players in the lineup. Well, that's a really interesting question. I thought you were going to say any of them roller skate. Um, no, uh, I mean, <laughs> Wait, wow. they? Uh, not that I know of. Though I will say this: I am constantly amazed. You know, speaking to like the JJ McCarthy, and you, you're it's dangerous. Uh, that the guys that ride the scooters. Like, because they live downtown. I'm just constantly amazed at that because that can get pretty hairy. In some nice downtowns stuff. more than others. Like, beware if you're in Denver. The people on the scooters just come by you. Like, all of a sudden you feel the wind coming by you. Uh, but but anyway, uh, th I thought that's where we were going. But instead, we're going to do a serious <laughs> uh, baseball question. Like, I'm on the Darren Smith show or something. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, this wait, is whoa. after all the show of record, Kevin AC. <laughs> Welcome to the Thunderdome. <laughs> You're going to be asked a lot of tough questions this morning. Yep. Like, right, for example. just getting started. Okay. Is, uh, is so your the favorite first guy color that comes brown? To mind, yeah. The, the first guy that comes to mind is Jurickson Profar. Okay. He's he's going to be the the regular starting left fielder. I think they, they have a lot of confidence because, you know, Jurickson Profar is often in the middle of stuff. He knows how to, like, look, what, in the first two games, I think he's like, one for seven, but he's walked a couple times. Uh, you know, he bumped single. Like the guy makes stuff happen, right? And he's a decent left fielder. Can he keep that up? There was a reason he cost a million dollars, all right? Um, which is like nothing to like you guys and stuff, right? Like that's yeah. nothing. No. Yeah, that's that's none of our baseball players. Yeah. Um, change. yeah. And so how long can he keep that up? I think that's a, that's a big question. How long can he be a productive member it's of a community? More than four hours. Or, or this, how long, like, can the Padres, you know, a good team that has other people hitting can cover a hole if a guy's contributing. But I think it'll be like a Profar and Zocar yeah. situation there. There's a lot of there's a lot to unpack there. I will say this: yeah. your uh, your description of Profar maybe unintended <laughs> was riddled with innuendo. <laughs> I, I, I I I I didn't catch it like because I, I, well, I did it, but the whole thing about video here and I remember what? this like from like doing TV and 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 like the simulcast situation is like. It, it's so different than radio. You're seeing a lot of things. You're seeing reactions, and you have to ignore them. I don't know how I made it through that, but I saw that I was creating a stir or that one of you idiots was creating a stir amongst yourselves. It was a little bold, I'd say. Yeah, was little, there's some, there was I'll some tell you right uh, now, if you, if you can, if there's a TV near you, turn on ESPN right now. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there's a pretty lady on TV. You were talking about keeping it up for a long time. Yeah, and then it's you just and, then, and then you were. I don't. I don't even know what you were talking about covering the hole. Yeah, well, listen, yeah. I, I'll tell you right now. <laughs> that's what everybody should be worried yeah, about. Yeah, right. Big Rick, CD, and Fletch. It's, yeah. a, it's a Wednesday morning. We're jumping in here with Kevin AC, Padres insider, <laughs> talking Padres, of course. Duh. Yeah, that's what yeah. we do. Um, let's uh, 
let's talk about this. So I we we asked this question to our listeners, say Kevin. Um, so you have the Aztecs appearing in the Sweet 16 tomorrow. We have Padres opening day. And I asked TD and Fletch, like, what are you more nervous about, right? What gives you more nerves? Like the urgency of the Aztec season, you know, potentially coming to an end or potentially advancing, depending on what happens tomorrow, or the Padres embarking on a new season. They both said Aztecs. I said Padres, and here's the reason why. I think Preller is out of leash. I think that if this season matches or mirrors results from last season, or if they're worse, I think we could see a complete regime change here in San Diego. And like you know, you've covered sports your whole life as a professional. I've been in this. When a regime changes, there are big sweeping changes at the field level. So that could mean some of these superstar contracts going bye-bye in trade or otherwise. You could have somebody coming in who wants to give the whole franchise a facelift, and that could mean it could it could mean it could mean things get decimated and then rebuilt. That gives me great pause. What do you think would happen if this season does sour and go sideways? What what sort of changes do you predict would happen? Well, yeah, first off, that's that's valid. Um, but man, it's the third game. You're gonna have a lot of angst this year for a while there, right? I'm um, very nervous. You know, <laughs> set that yeah. aside, enjoy the Aztecs game. Uh, but uh, and then come back to that maybe on like Friday. But uh, you know. I, you're 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 spot on in terms of like this is a big year for AJ Preller, uh, and and why hasn't it been uh, previously? Well, you know Peter Seidler loved him, and also you know let's be let's be whatever you think about AJ Preller, he's made this team better than it's kind of pretty sad history. So you know, but now we've arrived at a point after last year. Um, the collapse of 2021, which you can explain with injuries and such, but, you know, the window of opportunity, the decade of the Padres uh, has so far in four seasons produced two playoff teams, three playoff series wins. Okay, that's nice. But then two non-playoff and last year, number three payroll and no playoffs. Highly disappointing. Now, I put that on the players, but there's the guy who put all those players together. Um, and so you are you are on, man. And there's angst within the organization. Um, I will say this: the beautiful thing about baseball is spring, like, gives you amnesia. That the optimism that overtakes in spring, it just makes you forget all sorts of stuff. Now that when things don't go well, man, that descends back on you in in May or April or June. And and so right now, though, it is like. They're very excited about a lot of things that are going on. They know that they brought back most of that team or like, you know, most of some some serious players. D D Dylan Cease really gave them a, a, a big sigh of relief of how to fill innings and, and have another kind of stopper guy in the rotation. They feel, I believe, I believe this, they feel very good about this season. I'm glad you brought up Dylan Cease because I don't think we've had a chance to talk to you since the AJ Preller made that acquisition. But how did he fit into the team in the clubhouse? Because he made the trip to Korea right away. What is the relationship like? Was it open arms immediately, joking around with everybody, or is there a little trepidation with the new guy? Yeah, they seem like they really like him, and he's like, like you got guys like Joe Musgrove in there who's big on you know guys being a gamers, right? How do they attack hitters? How do they talk? Um, and and they. The Dylan Cease is an accomplished veterans love veterans, man. And, and, you know, guys that have been there and done that. And that gives you cred right when you walk in. And then yeah. uh, they, they, they like where this guy comes from. Cred. And, you know, when that translates to the fact that you've had some really good seasons, uh, that was a gigantic pickup because of how it made them feel about, okay. All right. You know, what we really liked our young pitchers. We think, we, man, we're excited about Jackson Merrill. We, gosh, we know we've got to be better at the plate than we were last year. That was almost inexplicable how all these guys had those years. Okay, but man, where are we going to get those innings? Gosh, yes, we love Michael King. Man, that's great. But like, ah, uh, he did 104 innings last year. Like, what? We, we lost Blake Snell. Oh, man. Dylan Cease was big for them. Yeah. Kevin, uh, Bomel coming back to town here. How bad does he want that win? Uh, you know, inside, <laughs> I'm secrets. sure that there there is that. But the guy's been around baseball a long time. He knows that he's got more. Uh, but I, but I look, yeah. Um, 
I think that he was very aware. I remember that when I saw him in Arizona, uh, said uh, that uh, didn't have a chance to catch up. And he's like, ah, we've got like 15 games in the first 20 days to, 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 to do that. So he was very aware of the schedule. Um, let me ask you this question. Now that he's gone and he's with the Giants and NL West rival, mm -hmm. look, this mm -hmm. is coming from somebody who was convinced by a Frenchman to dye his hair. Did Bob Melvin dye his hair, Kevin? You're yes. on the record, I remind you. Yep. I don't think that anyone that saw Bob up close had any questions about that. Okay. Okay. That so was that, not that a was yes not, a, or, not a yes or, or a no. no. And I, <laughs> I mean, Dude, he was like one step away from having the Rudy Giuliani dye drip down. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Bobel was this close. <laughs> Having a press conference outside of Four Seasons landscaping. I mean, clearly, I don't. I clearly, I don't dye my hair. But I, I mean, I just, you know, hey, uh, teach their own. Can we yeah, do it for you? No, dude. No, can we oh dye? Gosh, can we dye your yeah, hair? Can we dye your hair, Kevin? No. What? No. It took what? it. It. I, I've had this for a long time, and 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 I, I've grown fond of it. Absolutely not. It does look good. It's a good quaff. I mean, maybe we should dye our hair white. Yeah, I don't got no hair, Lieutenant Dan. Well, you dye the beard white. <laughs> Dude, actually, can we just paint your head? Yeah. <laughs> the way things go, I don't want to say sideways because it's not sideways. It's a beautiful direction. It's, it's, yeah. Like, but the way things go on this show and the way they go so fast is crazy to me every time. A roller coaster, yes. man. You got you got to hang on, pal. Yeah, yeah. You just you just you yeah. just hopped on the back of a fucking Bronco. <laughs> we we'll need you to Providence. Hey. Yeah. Hey, are yeah. you guys coming out to spring training next year? We need uh, to. Yeah, I mean, can well, we do, sleep wait, on your floor? Do we have credentials? Can, can I mean, I went to dinner with you. I mean, after all that, like, when are you guys? You guys just keep talking and talking. And Wait, we whoa, just, whoa, 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 whoa. This is the first invite I've heard yeah, to spring training. Once Scott told we could go yeah, to spring training. We're like, you we're invited up. yourselves. And I just assumed that was like, you know, the same thing to you as, as me inviting you. Wait, what, what was the name of the place you went to again? It was the horse, the horse house. Can we stay with you at the horse house? <laughs> I, I might get back to Casa Caballo. <laughs> okay. That is not okay. my name for it, by the way. I mean, that whole <laughs> blue jeans incident. I need feel like I need to point out when I'm being, you know, that way. But I'm just saying I, that was not my name for it. That was on the gate. All all we're saying is next spring we'll see you at Casa Caballo and mm -hmm. we'll bring the pants. Big yeah. Red, CD, and Fletch, Kevin, AC, Jeff Sanders, Bryce Miller. It's gonna be a party. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Wow, well, when you bring in Bryce Miller. Yeah, man. You oh, man. Guys, be ready. guys, <laughs> only naked jacuzzi night, huh? Okay. Huh? What? Wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> no, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure that's the that's the recipe for bone broth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta go. Lap. Well, okay, I'm, I'm glad you gotta go. Okay, you well, guys say goodbye to Kevin. I gotta take a lap. Bye, Kevin. Kevin. We love you. Yeah, we love you, man. We'll uh, we'll see you out there. He already left. Wait, he bailed. Yeah, it is. It is. Hey, it's Big Rich CD and Fletch. Uh, we got those social D tickets coming up in just a few minutes. We'll tell you how to win them in bottom of the barrel coming up next. And we're all skinny now. And that. I didn't see that there. It's okay. Oh, I didn't are. put it there, but Woo! it's my turn. So uh, we're all skinny now, and it's all thanks to Wayne and Chloe over at SCFatLoss.com. Really specifically Chloe, but Wayne helped a little bit too. But they uh, laid out this roadmap for us to lose a lot of weight very quickly. And all three of us lost a lot of weight very quickly. And as it gets close to the summer months and you're thinking about that vacation that you have scheduled in with the family, if you want to be looking like a hottie down by the pool, you need to get on over to SDFatLoss.com today because they're going to trim 20, 30, 40 pounds off of you in just about two months during the reduction phase. That's what happened to all of us. I think all of us had huge success within the first two months. That is the money window. And so if you go over to SDFatLoss.com today and you stick to the program, man, you are going to lose a tremendous amount of weight very quickly. So get on over to SDFatLoss.com today. It's a free consultation. They'll lay out the roadmap for you for you to lose weight the natural way. It's not pain pill. It's not prescriptions. It's nothing like that. It's just you and an old-fashioned diet. Get on over to SDFatLoss.com today.
Listen, this is not a drill. It's not a drill. We need everyone to get out to Dave and Buster's, okay? We need everyone to get out to Dave and Buster's because you can catch all the college basketball tournament games in March at Dave and Buster's, a new and improved, outrageously delicious menu. They got tons of games you can play there. Bring the whole family, man. Go ahead and compete against your kids and then show them how good you are at all the games. They got new games coming in all the time, games you've never seen before. TVs all over the place. You won't miss a thing. The UFC fights, baseball games, basketball games, they're all over the place. They got a 125-foot screen down there at that Mission Valley location and a happy hour that runs Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. It doesn't get happier than half-price cocktails, dollar-off drafts, dollar-off wine glasses. If you're a military or a first responder, you get 10% off all day, every single day. So schedule your next event by calling in directly or visit DaveAndBusters.com. Like I said, a Mission Valley location. They got one up in Carlsbad. It doesn't matter where you're at. There's a Dave and Busters near you. Go there, check it out. I'll see you there, Dave and Busters. Big Rich, TD, and Fletch wrapping up a Wednesday show here. It's Christmas Eve to the San Diego sports fan. You got the Aztecs playing in the Sweet 16 tomorrow, Padres opening day. So we celebrate by giving away a pair of tickets to Social D. If you want to see them with bad religion at North Island Calcross Credit Union Amphitheater, you got to call at exactly 855. We'll give you a pair so you can go see the show. All right, bottom of the barrel. There's only one story we need to get to. A California man found a leg at a train accident and started eating it. <laughs> he was arrested. Uh, I don't know. Where, where the, was this at? Mesco, California? I don't yeah, even it was know where near that is. Bakersfield, I think. Okay, so that makes sense. A, tra- yeah. a train accident. That adds up. A pedestrian gets hit by the train, loses the leg. A guy just walks over, picks up the leg, walks off with it, and then they bust him eating the leg. Leg snack. Gross. <laughs> Like Gross. Snack. Listen, um, I mean, I guess they sell those. Not human, though, at Disneyland. Turkey legs. The turkey legs. Just saying, who do we thank today, yeah. Fletch? <laughs> <laughs> we thank Kevin AC, our yeah. Lord and Savior from, uh, I think he's up in Fallbrook, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But we do not thank Ted Lightner, who stood us up. Maybe that's we'll okay. catch up that's with Uncle Ted tomorrow. He's so. fine. Uh, thank you, Rich. Ted. Thank you, TD. Thank you to Brady Children's and Jersey Mike's. Go buy a yeah. sandwich today. Day of giving. Yeah, Man, Declan's story has made us cry twice within right. three months. Yep. You That's know what I one. think? What's that? Ben Fletcher for being born to say. You Happy welcome. birthday. Happy birthday, Fletch. Fletch Fest right. 2024 yeah. comes to a close. The herd is next.